I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. Bitch. think by doing all this shit behind the scenes and gathering together that y'all was gonna get rid of me and somebody fucking lied. Cause y'all not. Y'all sent somebody before and then every time y'all try it, everyone that tries it learns the hard way. I'm chosen. I'm a chosen one. I'm not going nowhere until I fuck I want to go somewhere. Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. Because people are so secretly envious of people who they think have the luxury of this and this and that, that they think, oh, who cares if you get bullied? Who cares if this and that happens to you? Who cares? Because guess what? You have this and you have that. So it's okay. That's what they say. It's okay. But it's not. You're dealing with a human fucking being and you think it's fucking funny? I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody gonna clean it up. Sometimes you need a little pressure to get to that next level. So do me a favor, don't dismiss your haters. I love my haters. I embrace my haters. Listen to me, I, I'm say it again. Love my haters. Embrace my haters. Guess who's back in the motherfucking house? What a my big mouth. <laughs> my big mouth. I got a big mouth. Can't help it. I talk from my heart. I'm real. You know what I'm saying? Whatever comes, come. Ride with the mob. Hum do our law. It's the mob, so you gotta get initiated. I fuck this who bitch. Ding dong. One, one, two, check me out right here, yo. Yo, the sun don't shine forever, but as long as it's here, then we might as well shine together. Better now than never, business before pleasure, P. Diddy and the fam, who you know do it better. Yeah, right, no matter what, be yeah, tight. So yeah. when you hear something, make sure you hear it right. Don't make an yeah. ass out of yourself I'm by assuming I'm right. music keeps you moving. What are you chewing? You know that I'm two levels above you, baby. Hug me, baby. I'ma make you love me, baby. Talking crazy ain't gonna get you nothing but choke. And that jealousy is only gonna leave you broke. So the only thing left now is God for these cats. And baby, you know you too hard for these cats. I'ma win because I'm too smart for these cats while they making up facts. Oh. Up in the commission, you ask for permission to hit him. You don't like me, hit him while I like was with him. You heard of us, the murderers, most shady. Been on the low lately, the feds hate me. The sun is they say my killing's too blatant. You hesitate me, I'm in your mama crib waiting. Not taping, your fam, destiny, lays in my hands. Get lays in my base. Francis, M to the is H phenomenal. God rest under your vest, under your domino. I'm a few bars so I can buy a few cars. Then I kick a few flows so I can pick a few holes. Excellence is my presence. Never taste, never hesitate. Even make a bit real quick, real sick. Raw nights, I perform like Mike. Anyone, Tyson, Jordan, Jackson, action, back guns. Ridiculous, and I'm quick to bust. If my ends you touch, kids are girl you touch. In this world I clutch. Two auto, Matt Toes. Used to call me fat so Now you call me Castro. My rap flows, militant. Y'all faggots ain't killing shit. Oops, Chris Style keeps spilling. Shit, you overdid it, Holmes. You in the danger zone. You shouldn't be alone. Hold hands and say it like me. The most shady, Frankie baby. Fantastic, graphic. Try to make dough like Jurassic. Hard dick, pick the spark kids who start shit. See me, only me. The underboss of this Holocaust. Truly yours, Frank White. Right. 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 Where my niggas is at? Where my bitches at? Where my bitches is 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 at? Where
money on the table and get your math on. Break it down, split it up, get your laugh on. See you later, dog. I'ma get my stash on. Is it bad for the money that I get my ass on? I never lose the passion to go platinum. Said I live it up to all the cash on. Ain't that funny? Or use plastic, wrapped it to make classics. Hotter than acid, PD. Don't want to take a CD. The world war killer, no team killer. The ammo, ammo is every channel. We've been hot for a long time, burning like a candle. What you can do is check your distribution. My song bump is juicy, my scarf is the juicy. You ain't gotta like me, you just mad cause I tell her how it is and you tell her how it might be. You shit not tight, brass knuckles and flashlights. The heat does in the two seaters with two readers. Send the retards, kiss rings when you meet us. Be diddy, run the city, show no pity. I'm the witty one, Frank the crook from the brook. Maddie broke the neck of your coat to neck. No respect, squeeze off to all y'all diminish. Shootouts for 20 minutes. Until we finish, then it's to the loop, escape in the coop, break bread with the kiss, Panero, seek loose, Black Rob, join the mob. It ain't no replacing him, niggas step up. We just mason them, placing them in funerals. Criminals turn the vows to Brick City. Nobody come off like P. Diddy. See business wise, I play men. Hot money on the island came in. Y'all just betray men, we spray men. Opposition, competition of the day in the life of the commission. To my niggas in the world, where the fuck you at? Where my niggas is at? Where my niggas is at? Where the fuck my bitches at? Where my bitches is at? We got some real life shit. Don't shoot me back. To my niggas in the world, where the fuck you at? Where my niggas is at? Where my niggas is at? Where the fuck my bitches at? Where my bitches is at? We got some real life shit. From front to back. To my niggas in the world, where the fuck you at? Where my niggas is at? Where my niggas is at? Where the fuck my bitches at? Where my bitches is at? We got some real life Yo, 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 what you gonna do now? What? What you gonna do now? Burp to my mother. <laughs> what you gonna do now? I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. What's going on, y'all? Hold on, let me. Y'all know King was running amok. King was running amok. I got my Tito's out tonight, y'all. Yeah. It's Friday and we are running amok. Well, it's Friday. And we are running the mark. Let's go, Woods. Where you at? You heard? Run my likes up. You heard? Yeah, where my niggas is at? Where my niggas is at? Where my yeah? But anyway, y'all. So tonight is gonna be a fun one because I always gotta do what y'all don't do. Girl, come on, come on, come on, come on, Woods. You're gonna Woods. Oh, a whole lot of Woods. Whole lot of. Whole lot of words. Yeah, y'all know what? He was giving he was making me, he was giving me what our people say. He was giving me it was giving me. I couldn't really put my finger on it, Woods. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Mo3 sector, shout out to the beef sector, shout out to the mother. Hey yo, Girl, why I always gotta do it for y'all? Why? Just tell me why. Why y'all don't do your research and stuff? When he be, when they be giving you the, uh, the uh, you gotta, uh, I don't, can't put my finger on it. Yeah, can't put my finger on it. Hey Woods, yeah, come to the front, come to the stage. Woods, whole lot of Woods, whole lot of cap, whole lot of clap. Baby, hold up, whole lot of Woods, whole lot of cap, whole lot of Woods, whole lot of cap. Let's go, Woods. Where you at? Where you at, Woods? Hello, whole lot of words. Hello, it's Big Mob the Go undefeated. Hello, undefeated. Hello, 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 hello. Woods, Woods, yeah, yeah. We're exposing you, Woods. Hello, hello, yeah. Hello, whole lot of words. Whole lot of cap. Hello, hey yo, what Woods? Where you at? Where the promo at and shit like that? Like, where's the videos and the promo and the shit like that? Like, where's that? Where's that, Woods? Hello, all of the words, all of the cap, all of the words, all of the cap. Put the caps in the. Hey yo, don't put no gloves in. Hey yo, put the put the caps. Show me where where your caps at. Hello, 
Hold on the cap. Hold on the cap. Hello. We're looking for you. Drop the caps in the chat. Hello. Hold on the cap. Hold on the cap. Where you at, Woods? Where you at, Woods? See, see, Woods. You was giving me the. Uh, the uh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on the Woods. Hold on the cap. <laughs> Hold on, words. Hold on the cap. Let's go. Hold on, words. Hold on the cap. <laughs> Hold on the cap and going on. What's what's going on? Hello, Woods. Drop in the chat. Hello, Woods. Where are you? Hello. Somebody go get Woods. Hello. Hold on, words. Hold on the cap. Uh huh. I said they said a skull gang, a don't bang, and a pussy hang, and a bang bang. Let's go. Where you at? Hello, skull gang. Let's go. Let's go. Get him on. Let's go. Yes, stone gang and the bump bang and the bang bang and the pussy hang and the dunk bang and the gang gang. Where y'all at? Let's go. Hello, hold on the words, hold on the cap. Hold on the words, hold on the cap. Why I gotta do this for y'all every time? Why I gotta do it for y'all every time? Like, I mean, like, every time, like, I just single handedly annihilate every boxing nigga out here. What is that, Vaughn? Hey y'all, everybody shut it down for Vaughn. First of all, Big Vaughn in the building and everybody shut down. When the king comes to town, every when the king comes to town, everything shut down. Hold on the words, hold on the cap. <laughs> I said when my Pisces king come to town, everything shut down. Let's go, Vaughn. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Uh, hold on the words, hold on the cap. Yeah, so we got somebody here that, yeah, y'all said, what the fuck, man? Boy, this is for you, baby. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh, my God, he make me blush. He be making me blush. So we got, we have a guest tonight on this, on this good hold on the words, hold on the cap Friday. Okay. Uh, hold on the words, hold on the cap. Hey, listen, so player, this is what well, I gotta. So player, what's up, so player? And I was trying to get in touch with you, so player. But anyway, hold on, there was, hold on the cap. <laughs> hold on, there was, hold on the cap. Drop the caps in the bit. Like, so y'all, so y'all know I always gotta do the research for y'all because y'all ain't gonna do it for yourself, child. We don't know what the hell the whole one out of is over here. We don't know what that shit is, Big Vaughn over here. Just sell it to Big Vaughn because it's whole lot of. <laughs> Woo! Whole lot of. Hold on a fine, whole other minute. Come to Big Vaughn, it'd be like, ooh. Anyway, hold on a words, hold on a <laughs> Big Vaughn is in the building, and that's just how it go. But anyway, y'all, so we was over here feeling like, Ugh. I don't know about uh, hold on a words. So we had to do our own research. Shout out to Yeti. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, uh, uh, what, what am I, what, what, what is this? We about to just... We better have a good night on a Friday night. This is right here. This is Tito's. Okay, y'all already know what time it is. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, you know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Baltimore, right? Body more, murder land. You feel me? I'm down in here, Georgia. Whole lot of Georgia peaches. Yeah, but I ain't one of them. You feel me? I ain't a motherfucking Georgia peach. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I vibe with my DC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the DMV. Shout out to the DMV. Okay? Baltimore. Wait a minute. DC, Merlin, Merlin, and Virginia. Shout out to all of y'all niggas for real. Shout out to the up top. Let's go. Hello. It's goes. Uh-huh. Yeah, bro. Because we just be vibing like that. You know what I'm saying? Whole lot of words. Whole lot of cap. I know y'all from Dallas and all that, but you know, I had to go and do my research. And in my research, and I ain't talking Lady Snoop, I'm talking about real shit. Make Mob the Goat undefeated. You heard? <laughs> Hold on the words. Hold on the cap. Hold on the words. Hold on the cap. Uh huh. Let's go. So, uh, in my thorough. Investigation of this nigga, cause really what I want to do is bounce on a bitch, pounce on a bitch. But you know, as the most hated bitch on this motherfucker, I had to do my whole lot of research, <laughs> whole lot of research, make sure I was safe in that motherfucker, make sure shit was 
cop shot that motherfucker, but I bust a bitch. You feel me? If I had, had out the Dallas shit, feel me? I had to make sure shit was kosher. You feel me? Y'all feel me? I had to make sure shit was kosher. Motherfucker's like, oh, Mink, are you coming? Mink, are you coming? Shit, hold on a minute. Hold on a cap. I had to do my own research. <laughs> you feel me? And because I am a child of God. See, I'm a child of God. God brings people into your life. Praise God. They bring 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 people into your life. Praise God. Praise them. Things are revealed. Things have to be revealed to you. As a child of God, everything is always revealed to me. It just comes to me. God damn it. I didn't even know. Lord, praise God. I didn't, praise God. It just comes to you. Just like majesty. When Jesus is your homeboy, what happens is. Things are presented to you in a way that you don't know why, how, what, how, how did it happen? Praise the, praise, praise God. Can we get praise, praise God. Praise God for all God's children in the house. And then, see, what happens is when you have to tap on a neighbor and say, neighbor, let, yes, uh, reveal, am I going to be safe in Dallas? On June 3rd, am I going to be safe? Am I, I going to make it? Lord, give me a sign. Lord, give me a sign and bright and early this morning. Lord, J Jesus, and I don't play with Lord, but let me tell you, Jesus gave me a sign. Hold on, it's hold on the cap. Let's go. See, the Lord is going to protect his children by now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So, let me tell you what happened. Sit here. Uh, someone said they're out. Hey, have a good one. But anyway, let's go. <clears throat> so, along my journey, this, <laughs> along my journey, I found uh, this. Mm, praise God. Mm. Mm. Whole lot of time and out. Bang. Don't interrupt me. I know I got ADHD. Okay, so anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Am I on? I've got 8% on my computer. I need my charger. But before we do that, let me, no, seriously, y'all, let's get here. Let's get there. Let's get there. See, I met this young lady, okay? Mm -hmm. And see, I met this young lady, and y'all know I'm in Atlanta, so you got to get real well connected. Do you feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm Hold on the buzz. Hold on the cap. So um, we have an interview tonight, okay? And before, let me introduce you. <laughs> Do you guys know Zeb Judah? <laughs> I'm talking the money team. Hello? Money, uh, uh, the money team. I'm talking Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, let's go. You're talking about, yeah, I'm talking about the big bosses. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Zeb Judah, have you heard? You heard? You know what that is? Okay, cool. We're going to introduce you to Zeb Judah. And we're also going to introduce you to the world's Number one boxing fan, Cat Taylor. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna introduce you. Hey, 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 Woods. Do you know her? Huh? Do you know this girl? Okay. Do you know Cat? Do you know the world's number one boxing fan? Huh? Yeah, we're exposing you, Woods. Don't say you don't know her. Woods, Woods, Woods. No, you do. <laughs> don't deny. Can't deny her, huh? Woods, Woods, where are you? Are you in the chat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Woods, Woods, this is you. Hey, Woods, look at you. <laughs> is that you? A uh, wig and everything. Uh huh. That's the wig and everything. It's you, huh? Yep. Mm hmm. It sure is. Look at you, Woods. Look at you. Oh, look at you. Hold on, Woods. Hold on, the cap. You guys see that? Okay, cool. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Just you, you, you know. Do you know cat? <laughs> do you know cat? <laughs> I know. But anyway, let's get to know cat, guys. I think you like her. I think you guys like uh, a roast. Oh, you said roast beefisha. Oh my god. You guys, let's get to know cat a little bit, guys. Okay, let's get to know cat, you guys. 
Do you know who this guy is? Yeah, it's Zeb Judah. Yep, you see that? Uh huh. Boom. Let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see what she's about. First of all, let's see. Let's introduce our guest. First of all, let's see what she's about real quick. Guess what? I'm a part of all call outs are mandatory. A I'm a part of all call outs are mandatory. So I'm a step up and I'm a step up to the plate. I ain't like motherfucking trifling ass Hasa Diddy and a couple of other people that ain't ain't answering the call of duty. I don't give a fuck that I don't box. This bitch ass nigga don't even box. He sitting there starting shit. I ain't answering no calls of duty. I'm stepping in the motherfucking and answering the call of duty. Win, lose, or draw. I don't give a fuck. I'm answering it. I'm a part of this squad. Sam, ain't nobody doing no windmills. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't give a fuck how it be. I'm going to answer the call of duty. If a motherfucker see cat is a part of the all call us mandatory, then that's what it is. I'm not going to sit around and be hyping up everybody else's shit. Then when cause somebody call me out, I go duck it like a motherfucking groundhog. I ain't doing no shit like that. You can't run that motherfucking truck through your motherfucking living room. Ah, you you, you hear me? You hear me? Right, yeah. right through your motherfucking... You hear me? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, Zan, I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna pull up. I'm hitting you on one way. Right, I'm see you it was nice right. meeting you. It was nice meeting you too, Jamila. I'm gonna see you, you, too, you here all the time, right? I do. Yeah. All right. You so know? let me now now meet the fact I seen your name in here before. So now I know how you look. I'm gonna take yeah, you I'm my around. argument. I'm uh, around, somebody. Uh, uh, let me let me get Romeo out of here. That's Romeo. That nigga is the nigga. <laughs> Romeo, oh, my nigga, Romeo. He's he's here. He's starting his, his shoulders and shit. Stop moving. <laughs> That's my guy. Right <laughs> oh man, yo, this yo, son. It, but, I mean, let me, damn. Shit went left, man. That, but Diamond ain't Diamond ain't. Listen, I, bring her back. Know, I gotta, I, I gotta talk with D to find out what we gonna make this date. Cause for the next for the third CCB, cause. Didi gonna make the date. Yeah. Didi gonna make the date for yeah, that little dusty that's... ass joke. Ain't no, ain't no if. Yeah. It's just gonna be about when. Didi gonna say, yeah. Dusty, Didi saying, yeah. The dusty shit is what kills me. That, that's Yo, that's, like. that will forever be. I'm telling yeah, you, saying. it's the corny cars and it's the dusty for me. Yo, man. Yo, son. This is totally different, man. Like, this bitch about to be a million bitches right now. She's going to be a dusty bitch, a whole bitch, an ignorant bitch. <laughs> bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, man. bitch. Bitch, <laughs> this little raggedy bitch. You gruesome bitch. Bitch, get the fuck <laughs> right now. Only thing you should be doing, bitch, is working out some motherfucker where getting ready for CCB number three. And that's it. You don't need to say nothing else to me about nothing, bitch. The fuck? How many bitches is that? That should be one million, one hundred thousand. Bitch, bitch, bitch. The fuck out my face. And you talk about my dad mother too. So, you know, you're just going down. I don't give a fuck about like that. I don't give a fuck nothing about that. Nothing about that. Right now, right now, all bets is off with you, bitch. Mm -hmm. Ain't no respect for you, bitch. I have no so respect for you. You're not going to none. Let me tell you where it is. None. What's I have no respect for you at this point. You're not going to let me get a none. edgewise. I don't give a fuck. That My man brought you in. Fuck you. Okay, so fuck well, let me you on everything. You gonna let fuck that bitch. You gotta bring that bitch in by herself. That bitch don't get no voice. Yeah, bring that bitch in by herself. She gets no voice with me. None. This bitch don't get no voice with me. Fuck this whole ass bitch. Only thing this bitch gotta do now is get ready for CCP number three. That's it. That's it. This bitch don't get a voice. You don't get to say nothing. You better hope I don't steal a shit out the door on the way in. That's what she better hope. Hey, doing the way. I'm gone. I talk? ain't playing. Why you talk? I just hit your face. I'm gone. I ain't, I'm gone. I ain't showing you nothing. You, you ain't gonna get to see no you. training. I'm gonna you ain't gonna you. see me do shit. I'm gonna show Bitch, you. Bitch, you gonna see me in the ring. I'm gonna That's show you. it. 
We want to all that shit look good. I'm gonna show Make you. that shit look good, little dusty it joint. Because you ain't seeing your shit. Fans now. I'm gonna show you. You ain't gonna see shit. You ain't gonna <laughs> see no. Tra- you ain't gonna <laughs> see no training. You ain't saying shit from me. You gonna see me the day of the fight. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah, you talk a lot of stuff. That's you, you better hope on pop off. You better, you better, you better hope on pop off on your ass at the weigh in. That's what you better hope. Oh, you better hope I'm a You better hope I'm a lot calm. You better hope I'm a lot calmer doing the weigh ins. Cause right now I'm fucked up. I'm zero to a million. You might as well stay right at this moment. Do is get up and at this moment, I'm. At this moment, I am pissed. Put a smile on my face. I am pissed. All that talking, rip off. All that whoop. Bitch, you a cat and I'm a dog. Fuck that bitch. You a cat and I'm a dog. Fuck you on everything. I see that dusty ass don't. I see you in the ring. I see your dusty ass. (laughs) Your dusty ass in the ring. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I Bitch, you live on your plan. knees and on I your back. I'm getting jumped in. I'm getting jumped in. Oh, Watch this. Just in case you need it. Watch oh, this. Shit, Superhero. Watch this. Superhero. Superhero. Let me call oh, Batman. I'll play you because you Watch might need him. Watch this. Watch this. Let me call Batman. Batman already fucked you. your mouth up. Batman already split your shit up. Get Batman, Batman right. already knocked your bitch ass out. Mm-hmm. Batman knocked you out and fucked your whole face up, bitch. The fuck out of here. You calling on Batman. Batman already beat the dog shit out of you, bitch. Fuck this bitch. Fuck this bitch. Fuck this bitch. Okay, I used Fuck to be that um, I used to be um the shits back in Baltimore. I used to work for uh Baltimore Ravens Stop it. Stadium. So I was in a relationship that I decided I didn't want to be in anymore, and I also got this first. See, I can't talk. So at the time that I decided to um break up with this person, he punched me and broke my jaw in three places here, here, and here. I in, I let her in because I tried to tell her that it bothers me because of my mouth. I never had a complex before in my life. So I'm kind of like getting it out there. She let me in on her live. It wasn't like I was chasing. Who chases? Mark Zuckerberg on ta- um Instagram. Pat. And Dusty ass Mark bitch, Zuckerberg stop it. On Dusty Instagram, bitch, so stop it. Anybody. Dusty so bitch, stop it. Stop it. Dusty, no Dusty, stop it. And what don't sit around and lie. And it's don't sit around and lie, bitch. It's crazy. No, because I don't like a liar. Don't lie. It's crazy don't lie, that bitch. That stop that lying. That it's crazy that she brought this up because I didn't want, I didn't know how to let the world know what was bothering me. My smile is big, is big to me. So it's funny that, you know, God works in mysterious ways because she brought it up like it's a joke. Yeah, because yeah, he about to give you the money to me, get that shit fixed. You about to make the money to get it fixed. Look, I probably could have got it fixed, but it's a trigger because why should I get my you own about to make the, But you about to make the money now. You about to get it now. You done called me out. You about to make the money. You use me. You use me. You use me. You use me. So you getting the money to get that shit fixed, bitch. You came through me to do this shit. You gonna get the money to get that shit fixed. I just follow people who got good intentions and good hearts. One day she was on the live. Nobody was on her live. So I said, well, let me go and get support. So she asked me to come in. I usually don't even go into people's lives because that's not my thing. Because I like to do my own thing. Bitch, I don't need fans. I'm I not like on social media for fans. I'm the world's number one boxing fan. I didn't do it off of social media. I'm the world's number one boxing fan. I didn't do it off of social media, bitch. I did the footwork. I travel around the country. I didn't do it off of social media. I don't have fans, bitch. I don't have fans, bitch. You see the fans running up to me at the fight, bitch. The topic was you went live one day and you was on Bitch, I don't give a fuck. And nobody ever on my joint. Nobody comes on my joint. I'm not on here for the fans. My mouth gets dark. The mm. moon was dead. Bitch, I see your dusty the ass. Was dead. I see your the dusty ass dead. on fight day. I still can't get a word in that ass while that's sad. How can she be I the world? I see that dusty ass, ass bitch on fight day. How can she be the world? Bitch, don't, I, don't like, I don't like no dusty. Then you want to sit dead. on here and lie, she bitch. You really want to look. You really want to lie, bitch. You really going to get fucked up. Sit in your light, chick. You're See your dusty ass your in the ring, stay bitch. Bitch, bitch. you dusty bitch. You little punky bitch. 
bitch like that. You little you, raggedy you, you, bitch. Yeah, I know. I'll be you all that. fucked up teeth, I know. bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Yep, I'll be I'm going to see your and bitch ass in the you. room, bitch. And I still love better I don't than give you. a fuck. I, I don't give and a I fuck about your look. You. I don't give a fuck about your Let look, your bitch. Let me see your edges. I don't give a fuck Since about your dusty. look, bitch. Let me see your edges. I don't Since give I'm a fuck dusty. about your look, bitch. Your edges. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about your look, bitch. Drink more water. And get I don't give a fuck about your dusty ass look, bitch. I'll call out some men. Bitch, you get fucked up. You get fucked up. I see that, bitch. You got that. You got that. You got that. You got that. No more talk about that, right? Got that. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, was that was that crazy or what? Was that crazy or what? Hold on, y'all. I had to get my charger. Gigi, who does that remind you of? Gigi, who does that remind you of, Gigi? Gigi. Hold on, y'all. I had to get my charger because my computer totally died. So, oh, wow. You guys are lost? Okay. So, is that Zeb Judah? Yes, that is Zeb Judah, guys. The, the, so, we have an interview today, guys. Um, And I came in so late, so I'm lost. Okay, so you came in late, now you're lost. Okay, good. So, glad you guys got here. Um, You know? If you came in late, sounds like the shit we hear every day. Does it sound like the shit you hear every day? Hold on, let me drop the link for her again. This is for um, y'all. This is only for the world's number one boxing fan because she um, she probably need a link again by now. But um, yeah. So that yeah, that's Zeb Judah, and we're gonna hear from. Yeah, is that Zeb Judah? Yes, that's Zeb Judah. It is. It sure is. You guys know who Zeb Judah is? Um, is that me calling call some? All right. Okay. Hold on, y'all, because she just dropped down. So, uh, Max versus Wu. Y'all, I think tonight we'll get. Holy, 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 somebody touch me. Hold on. I just dropped the link for her again because she had dropped down. But um, hold on while we're waiting. Here she go. Hold up, bro. Hold up, girl. Hey, Kay, is that you? This is me. Hey, lady. Wow. Hey, girl. Hey, the uh, the stream y'all app is acting crazy out here, though. It keep on like dropping me. No, it's okay. If it drops you, we can do it the way we said it before. But you okay. be okay for now. You up here, you in good hands, like Geico. Um, but yeah, girl, can you introduce yourself to us? What did we just? What were we just witnessing? First of all, uh, I'm. I'm the world's number one boxing fan, Cat Taylor. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm also a part of the infamous Zab Judah, who is a former. Is, is well, he's actually the last undisputed world champion. Um, in a in a number of different weight classes, which was welterweight, lightweight, and um, uh, light middleweight. He's the last undisputed champion. Um. Uh, I'm a part of his squad. We he has uh him and David Flash Fox, is, which is another fighter, have all call outs and mandatory. And Zab also has celebrity championship boxing. What happens is uh the the platform is for fight it was for fighters to come on in and call call each other out and if they accept, if the other fighter accepts, they get inside the ring. But Zab and Flat opened it up for the general public, the celebrities, and just the general public overall that had beefs. So if you wanted to see each other, you call somebody out, the person accept the fight, you get in the ring, you see each other. But the difference with our platform is you fight on pay-per-view. Right. So these um, celebrity matches were done on pay-per-view. They were done on pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Okay. And were the, were the, were the, were the fighters paid? Um, to my knowledge, cause, uh, uh, the, the real top ones was like real high celebrities from, mm-hmm. you know, from TV, like, uh, 
um, like the love and hip hop. See, I don't follow those shows. So be honest with you, when Zab, I, I, fo I follow the fighters, the actual fighters, pro fighters. So uh -huh. when Zab started that, um, it took some time for us to get used to it because it was regular people who just, you know, wanted to see each other inside the ring. And a lot of them was like celebrity YouTube people or like from, like I said, Love and Hip Hop, this, this, this other show called Black Ink where these two, um, I guess tattoo artists named Gorilla fought each other and from the, uh, the, the little people of housewives and all of that. See, like I don't follow that type of stuff, but it was interesting to see the little, the little people fighting in the ring and, and um, some of the singers like uh, the midgets were fighting. Like the uh huh, uh huh, yeah. Like, yeah. Are you saying that what was that show? Little people or little little housewives of Atlanta? Yeah, they was from that, and it was some that was from like the uh, the I guess the other one, the regular show with some girls that was from there that that was from the regular one that mm -hmm. that fought each other. And so, um, well, then you you had you had people from our squad because we we also a family with CCB. So you had a couple of people from our squad that actually got on the card too, and and they fought on the card. So and what you what you what you were witnessing right here was me being pissed off because a, a raggedy bitch got up there and called me out. Now, as the world's number one boxing fan. I've been I've been exposed to boxing since I was a little, right? Mm -hmm. I've had so many street fights coming up in DC. I'm from DC. Mm -hmm. So I've had so many street fights. But one thing you don't see me do as the number one fan, I don't go around calling people out because I know the instinct of what boxing is. Boxing is not easy. Once you wrap your hands, put on them boxing gloves. It's it's different from you sitting there pulling somebody's head, stomping them out, using hands and feet on a motherfucker. It ain't all that. It's not it's not that. You gotta get in that ring and be conditionally fit to throw punches. And if you ain't really ready, conditioned to go round for round, you don't step your ass in that ring. But what happened was that little dusty bitch right there had called me out to fight me. And she did a fake call out. And the fake call out is when the mother. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. So, what is a fake? Can you tell us what a fake call out is? A fake call out is when a motherfucker call you out. And they call out a person, but they really don't want to fight. Mm. And so the other party accepted me. I accepted. I got called out. I'm mad about the call out, but fuck it. I'm gonna go through boxing training. I'm gonna go through the steps. I'm gonna fight. I don't got nothing to say to the dirty bitch. You know what I'm saying? But. The fakeness came in when Zab and Didi got together. Z and Didi is his Zab's wife. When when they got together and they really figured out like it was a fake call out. You know, mm -hmm. she don't she don't she don't really want to get inside the ring. She don't want to accept the contract. Cause with us it's real live contracts. You getting the contract sent to you, Zab fly you out wherever wherever you are. You get you get flown out, you get placed in the hotel room. So and um, it's the whole works, you know what I'm saying? So now you, the, the, the other problem comes in, you get on the platform, you call somebody out, then you start wanting to talk about money. Like, oh, well, I want to get paid for it. Don't come on the fucking platform calling somebody out. You not no real boxer talking about a payday. You're not going to get shit, but what's due to you. And that raggedy bitch, I think. She would have probably made the money to get a T fix if I wouldn't have fucked the mic up, you know, fucked them up because I was aiming to fuck her mouth up even more before she even went in a dentist. Right. So why were you so upset that this particular person called you out? Like why was what made you like upset about that? Because she she started showing signs of like a, like a stalker homosexual type girl. <laughs> I don't I like I like women that's women, women that's in their own skin, women that's original. I, I respect women that can stand on their own ten toes and be who they are. This bitch started following me on social media, start trying to copycat me, talking about she the number one fan and writing my name all on her titties. She stopped being weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like 
if one of them celebrity broads from them, the one of them housewife shows or something like that call me out, I'm cool with it because them bitches, they got their own lane that they in. They not trying to come in my lane and be me. It's, it's hard for, I can't, I wouldn't, uh, see, boxing also is about, it's about a sportsmanship because after the fight, you, you, a lot of times you, you gain a little respect for the person you fighting, but I would have never gained respect for this bitch. I was coming in off the break, like at the weigh-ins, I was going to be fucked up at the fight. I was going to be fucked up when lose a draw. I was going to be fucked up. And that's not what boxing is supposed to be like. You know, you, you call somebody out, you, you know, you copycatting and then you doing fake call outs. I wasn't with that shit. She doing fake call outs to get her numbers up on social media. And me, I'm not the world's number one boxing fan based off of social media. I didn't become the world's number one boxing fan with social media. I did it with attending over 200 plus boxing matches, traveling around the country, supporting the fighters, being there, whether they win, lose or draw, being there to support them, being there to be, be inspirational to them. I put the footwork in to be who I am, not to be who I am for a bitch to come along and try to copycat me. That ain't going to work for me. Mm. So she was like basically cloud chasing off of you. And you felt like if it was somebody else, like you would have been cool. So, well, first, who is Zeb Judah to you? Zeb Judah is. Okay. So I've supported Zeb Judah for a long time, for many a years, you know, even before all of this. Right. You know, so Zab used to Zab is from New York, and if a, a lot of y'all know, uh, back in the day, it used to be a quarrel with the D with DC and New York. It, it's a long beefs that go from DC to New York. So Zab fought uh, Demarcus Coley, which is Chop Chop, and they used to go back and forth. And although, like, I supported Zab, I was rocking with Chop. You know what I mean? So we used to go back and forth, and I used to be like. Rematch Chop because he beat Chop and he won the world title from Chop. Mm -hmm. And and I used to be like, let's go, let's go back and forth. So we I been I went to one of his fights and and we vibed there. But in 2019, Zab almost died. Mm -hmm. Cause his last fight he had after the fight, he lost by TKO TKO, but he also he went out to dinner and had a, a blood clot on his brain. Had to get rushed to the hospital. He had got the brain surgery. And so when I found out, because I was trying to call him after the fight and reach out to him, and I couldn't reach him, you know, they telling me, one side telling me, cat, he had dinner. One side telling me, cat, he in the emergency room. He, cat, he got hospitalized, right? So I'm going crazy. I'm crying. I'm up every night. I'm I'm reaching out. I'm calling all the fighters. I'm just, I'm like, y'all check on Zab. Something wrong with Zab. So he pulled through. He went through his surgery. He had to get a brain surgery. He 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 pulled through. When he pulled through, I vow, I made a vow that if he was to make it. I was going to make our boxing journey together as champion number one fan, memorable for life. Mm -hmm. I was going to support him no matter what. I'm going to be there. I'm going to rock with him. I, man, I made this vow, and I've been by his side ever since. Ever mm -hmm. since. I ain't left his side. So when I did have a chance um, to finally talk to him and go live with him, and I told him, he felt he felt that energy from me. He felt that. He felt that dedication. He felt that love. And I've been with him ever since. We family, you know? So, and, and, and so like right now, there's more than a champion number one fan relationship with Zab and I. We, we family. I'm family with his, his father, his mother, his stepmom, his wife, the kids. Mm -hmm. We all have this unbreakable bond. And that's the type of relationship I, I done built over the years with a lot of the fighters. Mm -hmm. So, so you, so, um, in the thumbnail we have, you, you have like a, um, an outfit on, well, an outfit on, like, where do you get these, um, how did you get the money team uh, outfit? Where do you get that? Like okay. So, um, uh, 
what I what I was doing as a known one fan was I was designing my outfits. I would pick fighters because I support over 200 plus fighters around the world. And y'all know I couldn't be at every fight. So what I would do back when I first started out, I would pick fighters off of cards and mm -hmm. I would match my outfits according to them. And a lot of fighters, I walk to the ring and I'd be matching them head to toe, you know. So it, and I, I was so in tune to them that it almost looked like we we went to the same designers to get the outfits done. But believe it or not, a lot of times I, I just pick great designers around the country to design my outfits according to their color schemes. And they came out remarkable. Like right there, this picture y'all are currently looking at, that's me in the... um. That's me in, in Vegas. I'm in Vegas at uh at Terrence Crawford fight. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had that outfit designed um by a great designer. His name is TRT's. The Mayweather outfit that y'all just saw, that was a, a outfit that I had in honor and honor May and Women, y'all. I think her phone might have um dropped down, but while while we doing that, while she's waiting for her to come back, we gonna, I'm gonna play it for you. All right, we're here with the number one, the world, the universe, number one boxing fan, Troy Entertainment King, friend of the Chivo. How did you enjoy the fight? No, first tell him what your name is. Tell him a little bit about you. I'm the world's number one boxing fan, Cat Taylor. I reside in Washington, D.C. I travel all around the country for and support a professional boxer. I support the fighters. Okay. Um, I'm going to let this video play right quick. What do you do? You show up to their fights? You root for them? Or yeah, yeah, I that do. Work? I, I, I show up to their fights. I root for them. I support them. I make them. I inspire them. I'm the most inspirational and motivational woman in history of this sport, and I don't box. Okay, that's good. I inspire good. them to be greater than life. Okay, I that's good. Believe, I make them believe anything is possible. Everything is possible. So when you, um, what is the uh, meaning behind the outfits that you wear? Oh, let's take a look at it real quick. <laughs> Turn around. Okay, they got a peek. Now, every time you come to a fight, you dress like this to support boxers and boxing. Why do you do that? Um, for one, it, it makes me stand out from the rest because I'm not the average fan, and I will never be the average fan. Okay. I'm the greatest fan ever to live in the history of this sport. So <laughs> you do good work. So I have to stand out. I have to make a statement, and also it grabs the fighters' attention because as they're walking out to the ring, they they see me. I stand no, okay. out, so they, they see me, they happy that I'm there, they happy to hear my voice screaming, and I, I lose my voice after each fight. Okay, now, how was the fight that you just watched currently with Terrence Crawford and Jeff Horn? Um, with you from D.C., that's a good boxing city. I fuck with D.C. tough. Um, what did you see in there tonight from Terrence Crawford that, made, that separated himself from Jeff Horn? Terrence Crawford showed me that he can move up to another weight class and dominated. He was he had so many odds against him with Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn is a great fighter. Mm -hmm. Jeff Horn is also a dirty fighter. He liked to throw elbows and headbutts. So Terrence, Terrence Crawford was had a challenge on his hand because Terrence Crawford is wasn't a dirty fighter. He mm -hmm. was gonna fight you straight up straight up and down toe to toe. Mm -hmm. And Jeff Horn was gave him that challenge and okay. he had to learn how to overcome that challenge very quickly he could he didn't have a lot of time to think about how to recruit and off the dirty shit off the dirty yeah or dirty boxing he yeah. had to get in there and do his thing really really quick okay we we're here with the on. world number one boxer fan take a look at the fit again it takes some time to put together i tell the fans where they can reach you at you can reach me on Facebook at Cat Taylor. You can reach me on Instagram at Boxing Fan Cat. And you can also reach me on, uh, no, on World's Boxing Fan Cat on Instagram and Boxing Fan Cat on Twitter. Okay, so I was just trying to give us some background information of, you know, like who you are, what you do, um, and girl, 
But so we can can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So So it keep, it keeps dropping me out, but then I just click the button and come back in. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so yeah, I was just giving everyone some background information of who Kat is. Um, you know, and and like pretty much what she does, she's very she's she has a background in um uh experience in So yeah, she has a background in um, you know, the celebrity boxing uh, and you know, fighting. She supports fighters and she knows about, you know, being called out. Something that, you know, we in the Mo3 sector and you know what's going on right now. Um, it's going on. Gigi, this is for you, sis. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, so um, yeah, but girl, how you know <laughs> words though? Whole lot of words, whole lot of words, whole lot of cap. Hey, so I I know I know Woods so I know Woods thinking like he on there right now he on there probably right now thinking man cat about the the fame my name nah Woods you know Woods like family real uh, talk you so, know so but get back to how did you uh how did you how do you know Woods though and we this ain't no Woods promotion this is Woods you know what I'm saying we are gonna keep it a hundred. So, I know this is, but you know we we met we met on we met on spicy shit you know originally you know he it met was, we met on our on our pl platform all call outs are mandatory mm -hmm. and um what you mean, all call outs are mandatory all call outs are mandatory is our platform you know mm -hmm. that's with Zab Judah David Flat Sparks it includes myself and the fighters you know in in Woods also star making appearances on it and a whole lot of other people start making appearances on it. It's called all call outs are mandatory. So all call outs are mandatory and celebrity championship boxing go hand in hand. Cause all call outs are mandatory is where they do the call outs on social media live. You can't calm down. Everybody got to be cammed up face to face. You can't you can't use um these avatars and all of that. <laughs> can't have behind cameras. And this is that's where it begins. And then once the fight is set to go through, celebrity championship boxing is where you see each other on the ring in the ring. Okay. And 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 so Woods, Woods mm -hmm. came up there bullshitting. You know, he was talking trash. He met my squad. He when even he pulled up. up. He, he Woods did a pull up. He he was bold. He came out to California uh, to one of the CCB events. Hold on, when he, you say CCB. What you mean? What is the CCB? celebrity celebrity championship boxing? Is we call okay. it CCB. You saying CCB? You saying Woods pulled up to a celebrity championship boxing event? Okay. Oh yeah, he was bold. <laughs> Hold up, now make us feel like make us feel like we were there. Okay, so I didn't go to that one. Uh -huh. Now, I didn't go to the one with Woods pulled up. Right. Because I had just got my semi truck. I, I owned a semi truck. I had just got it, got on the road. I tried to get a load to get to Cali and got stuck okay. in Texas. So I didn't make it to that one. But okay. I was live. I was on the live watching it. And um, he pulled up. Uh -huh. And. <laughs> and my scar went at him. <laughs> no, you gotta tell the truth over here. We it, we not listen. We not holding no goddamn wood. Listen, tell us what happened. Tell us what happened. They what jump happened? woods. They jump woods. <laughs> woods. Yeah, they jumped him at CCB. You know, he pulled up to the. He pulled up to the celebrity boxing match. Yeah, he did. He pulled up by himself, or like who was with him? No, nah, he pulled up by himself. Wait, who, <laughs> up, who was hosting the celebrity boxing match? Zab, Zab, Zab Judah. Zab he Judah. Zab, Zab Judah. Bo boxing, boxing event by himself. Now, Man. What, he got a lot. What, you know, that's why we that's why we respect him because he got a lot of heart. He got a good heart. <laughs> Wait, so he pulled that. that. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So before that, before the boxing match, right? Oh, when it was spicy. They, they, they was they were the Drop the link a hundred times, Woods. So hold on.
So, okay. So, so, so you telling us here that he put, so Woods pulled up to a, a, Zab, a Zab Judah event, right? And By itself. By itself. Well, with balls. But why did he pull up, period? Like, what was the pull up for? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did he, he had been getting up? into it. He had been getting into it with my squad on, on All Colossus and Mandatory, man. It was, it was spicy. Like, they was going back and forth. Woods talking shit. My squad wanted to get at him. It was it was crazy. So our event was getting ready to come up, and fucking Woods got his ass a plane ticket, and he pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> and so he pulled up, and what happened? So this is you. So that's a video of this. It's a video of it. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's a video. It's a it's video. video. It shows him getting fucked up. <laughs> Wait, Woods get fucked. Wait, so it's a whole lot of Woods. You, I know you got the video. You might as well drop it. Woods. We was looking for. The, I've been looking for the video all day. Woods. <laughs> but Woods, Woods, where's the video? Look, I'm gonna get the video. Did you get the video? That's what I'm wondering. I ain't know if you got the video or not. But I had yeah. got it originally. Originally, I got the video, but right now this is a new phone, so it's not on this phone right now. So we're gonna get the video, Woods. You might as well post it yourself now. So there's a video of Woods pulling up. But, but Zabbing them, Zabbing them sent me the video. <laughs> right. so, yeah, it's a, it's a video out. Mm -hmm. So so Zab, so Zab, okay. So you telling me he pulled up to a Zab a Zab uh, what was he doing? Like, cause I, I know earlier you told me he was like trolling and stuff. Like, what was he doing? Well, he was he was real professional when he came, but you know my he that already talked so much shit. My squad was already on his head, so you know. So he, so he was talking so much shit. And so then, in other words, in other words, he did what I said that bitch won't do. He got jumped in. <laughs> he didn't get fucked there. <laughs> so he got jumped into the squad. So basically, they wasn't fucking with him at first. They weren't fucking with him at first. They, they, but you know, like real talk, he he done became like family, and um, we stand by with support his endeavors, you know. So, so what made y'all go from beefing with Woods to, to, you know, what I'm saying jumping Woods to being like, oh no, nah, he cool. Like what? We had to get the just like anybody, you gotta get the norm. You know, you he, he has a platform himself out there in Dallas where uh he he do boxing events. Now, what's the protocols for his events? I don't know, but from where I stand and from what I'm hearing, he got a whole lot of fake call outs and that's not what we represent, you know. So he all had to get a he gotta get a grip on that. He can't Woods is Woods is a great promoter and he I don't I don't feel like as a great promoter and the investments that he make into doing those fights, I don't I don't feel like he should have buckethead ass bitches coming along like they paying for shit, doing fake call outs. <laughs> mm -hmm. They they don't pay for it. They don't even know the extent of what it costs to put these fights together. And uh, so you talking Zab has a team, mm -hmm. you know, he has an entire team. You got Woods out there in Dallas. He he basically doing this all by himself. So mm -hmm. you he can't have buggerhead bitches coming along on his on his shit trying to take like take recognition. And that's what I was talking about with the little buckethead ass bra. You can't take recognition for being something that you're not. Mm -hmm. Right. So like if he hosting if he hosting his boxing events and stuff like that, um, I, I believe he should continue to host it until them bitches put up money to help him out with those events. They shouldn't be getting no recognition like they like they pay for some shit. Cause it costs to it costs to get those arenas. It costs to it costs to stay up day in and day out and advertise, market. It costs to, you know, get these fighters in from different parts of the country. You know, it, it calls for that stuff. Boxing is expensive. Oh, when you, when you get, dang, King, King started boxing. Hold on, my bad. So, so listen. So, if when when it comes to 
Um, hold on, let me get this people up out of here because y'all know King get to start the ball game. So when it comes to the call outs, right? Because that's where that's kind of like where we are now, right? With the call outs. You got people um on this level, there you got some people that are calling calling other fighters out, right? Now, one of this one of the situations that happened is that no, okay, so we saw this call out that this girl did to you, and she said that you had said something about a mama, her deceased mama, and stuff like that. I did. I told the bitch to go get it, go get in the grave with a mother. Oh, okay. I told her oh. go right on down there to hell, and I, and I told that bitch that uh, the devil don't fuck with a mother, Jesus don't fuck with a mother. They got the demons down there fucking a the mother. <laughs> you know, I'm dirty. You know why? You know why I talk like a dog to that girl too. Uh, because it's fighting words. Somebody tell you, you uh, get a glimpse of somebody doing a fake call out, right? Uh, you get you get notice of it. This me. I got noticed that she was doing a fake call out. So now I'm pissed because not only not only did you try to betray me, because she tried to befriend me in the beginning just so she could get close to the fighters. Uh, but then when then when she got became friends with like one or two fighters, it's like, oh fuck cat. Which I'm cool with. I'm cool with you not wanting to be friends with me. You done got in where you wanted to be or whatever. I'm cool with that. But what I'm not cool with is you trying to come in my squad and trying to fuck your way through. You can't do that over here. So what I did to that girl was I gave her straight fighting words. If somebody tell you, bitch, go on down there in the hell with your, where your mother at, you going to want to fight them, right? You gonna want to see him in the ring. You, you, you. Th that's straight beefing. Like you straight trying to get in the ring. So all the shit that I said to that bitch, it should have made her, her bitch ass step up in the ring, and she still didn't step. Okay, okay. So is that is that normal to be like say something about your mama? Your if people like say say are those normal fighting words in the, in the boxing like world or you know what I'm saying? Is that is it's that normal? Thing? See now with pro fighters. Pro fighters don't go that far. You know, when you look at TV and you see the Terrence Crawfords, Earl Spences, Tank, you know, when you see these big level fighters, yeah, even the tank, fighters. Tank, tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to our guy Tank and our DMV fighters, Lamar Peterson. I love you. You know, uh, I saw Jerome Quigley hit. Yeah, but I, I could go on for days with that. So, but I love you all. So, but yeah, but when you see them on that level, um, oh, and shout out to my brothers, the Gary Russells. I am the god sister to the world champs, all the Gary Russells, the Russell family, their mom is my god mom, rest in peace to our dad. But um when you see us that on that level, no, they don't go that hard to like talk about each other's family. With them, it's already a go, you know. You don't, you don't, you don't really have to go dig. Like sometimes you might see a fighter say, mm. "I'm a fuck your girl" or something like that to make them mad. But you don't really see them go as far as like the way I did, like just straight digging. What I did was I straight digged her to hell. Mm -hmm. mm. I, Not the hell. Yeah, I did. I dug her to hell. I dug, I dug her straight to hell. Oh, <laughs> HBIC was you was in. So you was in Room Shake Alive earlier, but. I was, I was. Shout out to Room Shaker. She, uh, I was over there. Okay, Room Shaker. That's what. That's kind of like what she. Uh, and 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 it's and, and it's kind of fucked up. It's sad or whatever like that. But it's it's funny like dealing with this fight and stuff. Like she kind of did. She, she calls it going to hell. She says I'm going. I'm I'm taking it down. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> so when you said that, and this and this and it could be vulgar. It could be you know. But and. And honestly, like a lot of us, it's, it's shocking, you know, to hear people say some of the things that they say this in this in this YouTube world. But it's kind of like, you know, yeah, it is fighting words. I just say some things that, you know, I'm, I'm over here trying to make a bitch bust a move. You know what I'm saying? I'm a disrespect you in any way possible. I didn't know I was I didn't know I was doing some street boxing, room shake in the building. Yeah, I know I was doing some street fighter shit, but that's what I meant. Bitch, pull up! If I disrespect you, your mommy is yeah. Let's go. But it, it made it a little more serious. So, yeah, when it gets to that point, right? So, how do you know? Um, because I asked you this earlier as well about the when you get to the point where you don't need celebrity boxing events. Like, how do you know when it's too far? Like, what's what's some of the like no goals of the 
like things you just like, well like, i think the the part that would have been like too far is if i would have busted in the mouth at the way ends now you yeah. see at the way ends a lot of fighters tall off and steal each other and fight but not to the extent that i was gonna go uh, no. you know <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, see, I was gonna go hard, y'all. Like my shit, I'm fucked up. Uh, I, I'm fucked up. So, and I'm fucked up because this dusty, dirty bitch only calling me out to get her numbers up. She, she tried to twerk her way. She did her twerks. You see a lot of these bitches taking their clothes off for likes. Only five people like their shit. You know what I'm saying? These niggas don't even like their shit. They showing their body. They supposed to be these bad bras, but only five people liking your shit. So they, they go through these other extreme measures. And the other, other extreme measures that she took, I, I just had no respect for her. So wait, what was some of the... Give us some examples. We got a little time before, uh, because I, before I go, Gigi go live. But I want Gigi to hit the link to ask you some questions because she's one of the people that was called out by Woods. And Woods, you know what I'm saying? Hit the link, Woods. Where you at? They, they said, damn, don't that sound familiar? Yeah, it sounds real familiar. What she talking about, right? So give us some, because you said Zeb Judah has a, has, a, has a wife. He has a wife. So he's not going to. So when the bras was starting to get up on celebrity, I mean, all call outs are mandatory. It, they, instead of them coming up there, you you shouldn't even be up on the platform unless you up there to call somebody out, right? But it started being a thing where they like, oh, I want to tap in and talk to Zab. So they start trying to twerk, have sex conversations. And this is what this bitch resorted to. And, th and that's how we got into it because she flirted with Zab. And I saw Didi in the comments going off and D and Didi is she real like chill and laid back that she my fellow Capricorn sister, you know? And I'm looking at her go off and I'm like, sis, what's wrong? She like this dirty bitch trying to holler at Zab. Man, and I said who? And when she said the girl name, I I spazzed. I went off because at this point, I'm like, you whole ass bitch, you did what you did. You befriended me to get close to the fighters. Now you close to the fighters. Now you try to fuck your way through. It ain't gonna work. That's not gonna work. Right. So this is the and you talking about Zay. You said Didi is his wife, right? Yeah, Didi is his wife. Mm -hmm. So thank y'all for the cash app and the, um. So so Didi is his wife, and she, so while the wife was in the chat, you got the girl that was calling you out. Uh, up there twerking, trying twerking shit. Yeah. Talking about Zab, uh, uh, we when I come to the event, um, we gonna smoke together. Did he say he don't smoke with nobody? He damn sure ain't putting his lips behind yours, bitch. You seen your shit? We don't know what the fuck you got. <laughs> Get the fuck yeah. out of here. So as far so as far as training and stuff, right? When it comes to these these fights, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, hold up. But the, you, I, I got, I found a picture of you in Woods, right? So where was this at? That's me in Dallas. I pulled up on Woods. Yeah, I oh, went out to Dallas. Woods. Yeah, I called him. I, I actually called him. You know, Woods is very, very, very resourceful. And like I told you, he's like family. You know. It's been times when I had problems with my tractor trailer. I called Woods, <laughs> and he be right there. Like, hey, I had problems with my car there. He right there. So Woods has be really become like family, like real talk. But okay, that's why so he he on here right now. I know he went because look, he was blowing my phone up when he saw I was coming in. Right, he's I know him. I know him. I know him. I know, him. He, I know well, he like. Man. Man, cat, what that. you doing? You about to what you about to do to me, cat? Because you know. So this is what I'm saying. A lot of people have like so. A lot of people, you, if, if you saw a room shake a chat, like people thought like about a play and all of that other stuff. Like Woods, I haven't talked to Woods or nothing like that. Like let let me let me do this disclaimer right here. I did not do no. Uh, I was when I went in the room shaker's chat and I said I'm doxing Woods. I'm exposing Woods. I I was joking, y'all. I'm not doxing Woods, but let me tell you this. Um, how Gigi felt about this fight and stuff like that. Um, when I talked to this young lady, I understood more about like the the bigger picture of the fight, right? And I think that unfortunately, Woods did get in um and uh lined up with some some females that didn't really get the bigger picture of what he he was doing. But um, 
you know, like when you told me, when I told you like about the threats and stuff like that, but hold up before, let me, go, let me, let me, let me back up right quick. When, as far as like Woods, I know that you had a rough start with Woods, right? You and I Gibson, did. They, y'all was ready to fight Woods. Y'all, y'all, they, y'all jumped them. And then not only that, even before even before the jump, but before he even attended the event, Woods and I Woods and I had a real nasty call. Okay, so hold up. Tell us about the nasty call so people can understand because it's not this not no promotion. This is just real shit. Like I'm saying you I mean, had even even after the fact, like he we and him became close after I went to dollars, we even still had a nasty internet call where so who was that um, in the, like, you could be honest. Like he, now he asked know, me, hold up, hold he up. Asked, know, now that I know Wood's been blowing you up, we're gonna still keep it a hundred. This is not a nasty interview. But what happened before? He had asked me about uh did I know this rapper named Mo 3? And I said no. And so but I guess because I didn't know who he was, like they made it seem like on his platform, like I was talking about the rapper, and I didn't you know? even know. I didn't even know. You know, I'm from DC. I, I'm a Scarface girl. I don't. I, <laughs> real talk. I, 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 I don't know who. No, I was like, man, I don't know who no fucking Mo Three is. Who the fuck is that? You know, Long Live Three though. Put them up. Put the gorillas in there. Man, at the time, I knew none of that. But we gonna just look. We gonna have a good time tonight. Uh, shout out to Mo Three, okay. Shout out to the Mo Three sector. Shout out, Long Live Three. We had Mo Three Mondays, Mo Three Mondays, okay. But we are gonna get into that another time on Monday. But shout out to Mo Three, and you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, so we on there, we on there. I guess there's a couple of guys with the doing the all callouts mandatory, and this out of the out of the blue, he just asked me that question out of everybody on his platform. I was on his platform he at the said, time. What did he say though? He was like, "Do you know who Mo Three is?" And I was like, "Hell no! Nah. What, what is that?" Okay. At the time, I was like, "What's that? Who, who, who is that?" You know. And so everybody was like saying who who he was. I and I was and I'm blunt. I'm like, I know you ain't on this platform talking to me about no dead rapper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was like a lot of people was trying to like like. Threaten me and all of that and threaten. So by this time, it was like people acting like they was like being serious, like wanting to threaten my life. So I kind of did a little research because I, I made some calls to people in my network. And I'm like, y'all, what's what's this Mo3? What is that? Like, and they was like, Cat, it's a rapper from out there. He got shot with and um um Bootsy, Lil Bootsy got shot over him and some other shit. So I was like, why the fuck would he put me with some shit like that? I represent boxing. I don't represent no street shit. So I hit my when I hit my squad. Hold up, slide, slide, take a step back. But Woods did ask you, did you know who Mo Three was? Do you know when that was? Like around about time when that when was that? The actually it was right before he was getting ready to pull up in Cali because the the event was last year in June, so it, it had to be around like I would say Wait, around so May. last year in June. I thought I'm thinking we talking about throwbacks. Last year in June, okay. last, it was last year. Mm -hmm. He was getting ready to go to Celebrity Championship Box. He had already bought his ticket and everything, so. I would say around May it had to happen. It had to happen like a little less than a month because by the time he went to CCB3, by the time he pulled up, I was furious at his ass. I was furious. furious. Yeah, Gigi. I was furious with him. Let's go, Gigi. Gigi right now, furious at his ass. But anyway, I love Gigi. Gigi, I know you was like, what the fuck is Mink doing? What the fuck? But Gigi, just chill. We just chilling today. And we gonna... We, after this live, the after party is at Gigi's. Period. But anyway, but not, but anyway, like on some, but I told you about, I said, I told you that it was a girl. It was a girl like you. It was a girl like you. And that's my motherfucking Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, with, with me, I'm, I'm, being, being, being the world's number one boxing fan. I have now gained such a huge, I have, 
the the number one fan got fans. Even though you know you might don't see them out and about, but I done became affiliated with so many different organizations. You know, from the Masons, the Eastern Stars, uh, the BMF family, um, the Bloods, the Crips. So I stay. I keep it boxing. Okay. That's why. That's why all of those different. That's why all of those different um, organizations that come across me. That that's why the level of respect is there for me because I don't take it to the streets under no circumstances. So that that really wasn't like I didn't find that funny because like whatever that man was into that was streetwise that ain't got nothing to do with boxing. Right. Okay. So wait. Hold up. Wait. You said whatever. Hold up, because I want to. I want to make sure I go back. You said when. So when Woods asked you about Mo three, you was like, "What?" Because I, I was like, "What?" Because I don't. I didn't. I at the time I didn't know who it was. My network had to come through and tell me because I was like, when when the threat started coming in, I made a phone call because I'm like, "Hold up." Somebody they 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 sending me message they want to threaten my life over a nigga, but I'm but me I'm fucked up like I told you so I'm like how the fuck y'all threatening my life but didn't go get the niggas that killed the dude like <laughs> y'all better go find the niggas that killed that dude like don't put me in that shit I ain't with no streets <laughs> wait hold up so wait so what hold up wait wait wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> Hold on. Woods asked you about Mo Three, and you was like, "I don't know who that is." Was that on like a? Was that on a on um a internet platform? Like where was it at? It was on Instagram. We was on. We always on IG. Okay, so okay, so he asked you that on IG, and you was like, "I don't know who Mo Three is." Yeah, I didn't. I, I really didn't. I really didn't. I don't. I, I don't follow. I don't follow like these new rappers. So I. don't I don't be known like all the, you know what so I'm wait, saying? Like only a few, only a few rappers that I might know of, but I don't follow these yeah. new rappers. So somebody like him, I didn't, I really didn't know who he was. Right. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't know who I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. I didn't know who Mo3 was either, but let me tell you something. So at the, I'm gonna ask you this and then I'm gonna tell you something. But before I, before like I, I can understand because I'm I'm from where you from. We we ain't really know much about that, right? Mm -hmm. so, but what I could, so after you said I don't know who Mo Three is, but they was like they that's when you started to get um, yeah because we were still live when it happened. So it was like I started getting it. Um, he had some people on this platform that he was topping in, and and that's hold up, but that's, that's, uh, but that's that was um what's his name. Uh, I hold at the time I didn't even know none. I don't know none wait, of them. Wait, I, I don't wait, even know the dudes that was giving off the threats. But when you threaten me, when you threaten me, I'm gonna make a phone call. You know, so cause cause now you taking it outside of boxing. So now it's like okay, my affiliations is high. My my affiliations is real high. So when I have to call somebody in my affiliations and. And I and be, believe it or not, today I just found out that um, Woods is a bluzz. I didn't even know that, you know. So you talking about a young lady that's got association affiliations with Bloods, Crips, BMF, all these different organizations. Like I'm gonna yeah. make a call. I'm gonna make a phone call. Like okay, so when you said you didn't know who you you was like I don't know who Mo Three is and and all of that, and then you was getting threats. I, they did that right on the live. We was on the live one, and, and and they was throwing it in the comments, like um making these threats. So I was like, okay, cool. So when it got that, when it when it came down to the threats, I blocked. I initially blocked Woods at that point because now I'm heated, right? So I'm like, hold up, you know, I I expected better out of Woods. I'm like, man, I you know I went down to Dallas. He showed a lot of hospitality. We'll make sure I was straight when I was in my car. This is before I even got my truck. I I used to live in my car. We'll mm -hmm. make sure I was straight. I had caught a couple of flat tires. We'll took care of it. So for him to go over the top like that, it was like shocking. Like, what the hell? Hold up. Let me demonetize this video right quick. Shout out to uh, all the Mo3 sector people in here. 
um, you know, this ain't no disrespect to you or nothing, because I know I ain't know we girls, we don't know all that shit like that. But um, hold up, we better have a, a tad bit of a break. Um, and so we can go into because I didn't know this part. But girl, we gonna have it because we just listen. Shout out to the Mo3 sector, y'all right know. But um, we about to have a little break right quick, just so we can so I could get regroup. You know what I'm saying? Cause Gwah, Cat is over here. Cat is over here. Cat is over here. Cat is over here. Like, yeah, y'all not y'all already know what's about to go on. Hold up. I like her, but this is, you know, we girls, we don't be knowing everything that's going on, but y'all already know what's going on. They scared to come outside Tell the boys they better pray Tell the boys stay out the way Tell them ain't nobody safe On my mama, on my gang We gon' put it in their face Yeah We scared to come outside Niggas know we stepping nine day God know I'm stepping now we later Tell it hurts, it ain't no message, that's just how we made it You heard that church up in my face, it's good, that's how we raised I told God he gotta forgive me, I'm insane, no Get down on my knees when I'm in pain, no Tired of the rain on my name I need this blood of my Jesus, please Oh, Jesus, please Can you feel my knees, yeah Tired of fucking up, I'm in the streets, yeah Trying to take the weight, it's hurt inside of me You scared to come outside Yeah, I need a second chance Knowing that I love you, but sometimes I do the devil dance Lost a couple of my pilots, so I'm sliding out of whoever ends Drop one of them niggas when I kill them, call the reverend, yeah Cause no weapon formed against me shall prosper, yeah Yeah, I know I'm clutching on this chopper, yeah Waiting on them boys outside. Said you come outside. Ooh, yeah. Niggas always stepping night and day. Niggas always stepping hour and night. Until it hurts, it ain't no mercy. That's just how we made it. Change up in my box. That's just how we made it. Though I feel cursed, I pray for better days. Seems like yesterday we was catching planes. And it's been hard on me lately. I can't catch a break. I'm losing niggas on the day to day. Every day I pray, only God can take this hate away. Lord knows if I see him, I'm gonna have to spray. Now that same spot I seen him is the spot he laid. I cleave his blood on my Jesus, please. Jesus, please. Say, that's a heaven for a real one. I had to smoke a meat, but Moses had to kill one. Do it for the bills, I swear this shit is getting ill. That's just to come, come outside. outside. Ooh, yeah. Oh, you read that church up in my burger, that just how I raise. Uh, Glock up in my bridges, that just how I'm came. Keep a 30 on me, nigga, don't get out the way. Lord, I get my preacher on. She back, she behind stage, she backstage. But let me say this. Let me say something. Cause I don't mean no disrespect to nobody, like as far as like, you know, the most three sex is concerned. But let me let me make my little statement right quick. Um, cause she she uh Kat Taylor doesn't understand what Mo3 is and or know who Mo3 is, and I didn't even at one point in time, but 
what I do know is, um, however it came, uh, it's it's a lot of people that fuck with Mo three, and besides, and the reason why they became uh came on the internet was because of Mo three, and because they came on the internet because of Mo three, they feed my family. You feel me? So it it, it definitely, I definitely didn't come to YouTube, um, or the internet like on some some Mo three shit, but. At the end of the day, what I do have to do is give respect to that man because I ain't even know about him, but I know he fed my son. I, I now, know. Um, um, after that happened, happened, after that happened, though. Hold up, um, okay, because I just want to say this before we move forward, right quick. Because that's a that's a person that is he's no longer alive. I don't know his mama. I don't know his. I don't know nothing about him. But obviously, it was something about him that that man is no longer here. But shit, I'm gonna let you know. It brought some people together, and they helped feed my motherfucking son. So I don't know what the fuck about Mo Three. But what I do know is, it, it got my attention. Whatever got my attention about Mo Three, I don't give a fuck if y'all be like, oh, she not Mo Three sector. She not this. She not that. My bank account. Stat my motherfucking approval. And when I get my son his game on, on Friday, it's a man that, that was rapping. They called himself Mo3. And guess what? He gonna get my son this game right now when he's not alive. So y'all can't y'all can say whatever the fuck y'all want to about Mo3 and the Mo3 sect and all that shit. A lot of y'all ain't done a motherfucking thing. And I don't even give a fuck about that. But what I do is I'm a salute to my motherfucker, salute and give my motherfucking respect to a motherfucker that ain't even here that was doing whatever the fuck he was doing. But he gonna give my, my son his game today. He gonna give my son his game today on Friday. So he let my son eat. So whatever it is, guess what? I'm a, I, I, it got me researching that shit. Cause I'm a motherfucker, a nigga. A nigga that's feeding my motherfucking son. I'm going to salute. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all bitches or nigga that's nigga that's talking about. Oh no, I don't want to grow. I don't want to grow. Shit, I'm gonna grow that shit because that nigga feed my motherfucking son. Period. I ain't got my truck outside right now. Guess what? I didn't crash that shit. But guess what? My motherfucking ass and check came on on 21st, and they say I'm Mo3 sector. They said when you when you Google that shit, it say Mo3. So salute the Mo3. Shout out to motherfucking Mo3. Whoever that is. But anyway, but yeah, okay. I mean, it's some, it's some, it's the president back here, GG back here. With all due respect, uh, hold up, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, let me see what it says right here. It's a uh, oh boy. So what you need to be thinking about is not the likeness, driving with. Child, come back with some real shit. Like, I don't that must be that. the same girl that was on uh, Room Shaker's uh, piano. I don't know. But uh, salute to salute to you, Cat. Um, what's up, uh, me? What's up, Dan? What's up? Is Cat up there? What's yeah, she's still here. Okay. Uh, hey, Cat. I'm Gigi. Um, so I just, I Is just. That the, the dude, Dan, you a dude, you you just sent the message, said, let us in, damn bitch. You just sent that message in bitch? my inbox. No, he said, let us in, Everybody up here. No, that's that girl backstage. No, he oh, said, Lord, she tell me Conchita, no, no, Conchita on, Johnson. On, she tell me, Gigi, fuck no, you no, too, bitch. No, 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 no. Listen, cat, everybody up here, we good. Ain't no beefing or nothing. Yeah, that was that girl that just left. That wasn't Dan, though. No. No, then they say, let us in this bitch. That's what he said. Y'all, we chilling. Whatever kind of questions y'all got. We oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Gigi, when she told What's me. What's up, baby? She reminded me of you, so I had to laugh about this shit. <laughs> I wanted to ask her something, though. I wanted to get her opinion about something. She back, but she would. She, it might not. Um, she didn't cuss me out, Chili Bow. She was talking to uh, Dean, but really, she had. Uh, she was mistaken. No, no, no. She thought that she said it's a den. No, we gonna y'all come on now. What what it is is that the per we back they backstage and this hold hold up. Why we waiting for cat to come back? Cat, oh, I like cat. I don't know lie to y'all. Gigi, you will like cat too. Whatever questions you got, but hold on. I don't say I only all right. Hold up. Hold up. Let's 
lady come in. What is it, man? Gonna up. I'm telling y'all, y'all got too much. Y'all got too much time on y'all motherfucking hands, bitch. Well, bitch, honestly, you do too. You got your punk ass up here. Get the fuck off some goddamn. Let me get it out, GD. Hold on. Girl, she, she, bitch in the back chair trying to drag me. Fuck up. Ma'am, 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 who are you? Who are you, ma'am? God damn it. You make a king bar. Like I do every motherfucking thing else. Who are you? How did you come up here with this? Ma'am, who are you? Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Let me meet you. Ma'am, ma'am, calm down. We don't know what you're talking about. We over here, over here, sitting up here talking about recipes, Mo 3, because we over here trying to be respectful. I don't know who you are, where you came from. We trying to figure it out. But anyway, when you come come back, ma'am, we don't know. But anyway, back to the topic. Uh, Kat and um, Gigi. Gigi sound like, uh, like, the the service sound kind of like a robot. It, I can't no, really that hear. Her. No, no, we we got rid of her. Gigi just she don't sound like a robot. That was that lady that we had to drop. Oh. So Gigi, what you what Gigi got questions for you? Gigi basically was you know how you said the girl was all in um in in, in twerking and stuff and caught the fake call and out. doing the fake call outs. Yeah. So Gigi is at, at at your point. She's on your vibe, so she probably got questions to try to fix. She that you y'all probably y'all Gigi. What's your question? Hold up, I might got Gigi on mute and she cuts. No, uh, uh, I was on mute. It, it, Lord, my my head is spinning. There's a lot going on. I mean, sh um, anyway, you got, I think you had some questions for Kat. That the, that the yeah, I was gonna ask her how she felt about or how she would feel about the situation. So, uh, I was supposed to be uh, boxing um, at the event at a um, whole lot of woods event, right? Uh, June the third. Well. Um, it went from me and this other girl boxing to no, nah, y'all not boxing to yeah, y'all is boxing to no, nah, y'all not boxing. Like, if somebody done you like that, how would you feel about the situation? Like, it's a back, we going back and forth. One minute we fight, next minute we not. One minute we fight, next minute uh, we not. And it, it, I mean, it just kept going on and on and on and on and on. I mean, to the point where I'm over it. I don't even want to fight no more. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? But how would you feel about a situation like that? Like, for me, that's unprofessional. I didn't know nothing about the fight. I was asked the questions about the fight. Um, and how, because I'm from Oklahoma. I'm not from Texas. So if I'm coming to fight, I'm coming. Four hours away to fight. So this is the thing. I want to know what am I getting into? What, you know, like, um, I just want to know about the fight, basically. What what's what's going on? Who am I am I fighting her or what's going on? So he's not really telling me nothing. He's not really telling me nothing. He's not saying nothing. So when I'm asked the questions, they want to say, Well, oh, she's scary. She got a thousand questions, so she's scary. But if the man ain't telling me what's going on, how does that make me scary? But my question is, how would you feel if somebody did that back and forth shit with you as far as uh, one minute they say you fighting, the next minute they say you're not fighting, then they come back and say that you're fighting, you're going to be on the flyer, and then you wake up the next day and they say that you're not fighting no more, that the girl is fighting somebody else because... Um, he got some personal feelings going on with another situation that happened. Okay, so y'all have to y'all when y'all get into situations like that on social on social media, you gotta research who is the actual person that's throwing the fights. So if you all were to research Woods, you would see that he's a good promoter, he's a good advertiser. Does that mean that he's going to actually put on the fight? No. So when you look at that situation like that, you don't you don't take it personal because you know what you're dealing with. At that point, you got a decision to make. You either you can either ignore him on it or you can address on it. But you 
you got to know, like, all of that be for internet numbers. Because the more popular somebody get on their social media, all these on all these platforms, the bigger they become. So you all decide. When you keep some, saying somebody's name, you notice how I kept calling that girl bitch? I gave her no name. And that's... And, because you don't, you don't give somebody life. You don't give them life. So you you just got to know what you getting into. Yeah. So he does have like a, a Don King style of promoting. And hold up. Not you can see the comments now. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He does have that type of style. But also you got to look at look at his pedigree. You know what type of style of fights has he thrown? With look at look at the, the the caliber of fights he's thrown. And then another thing is you gotta also be careful of pulling up in areas for boxing events that you're not you're not you not you don't know because yeah you in there for boxing, but like I said, some of them other people might be there for the streets. Now you fight that girl in the ring and then come outside. Her whole family out there to jump. Well, you know and that was that. that was the thing too, Kat. She had told you me that, that I better not come alone. You know what I'm saying? So when she said that, that sparked up me to say, "Well, I'm, I'm, um, no, 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 go back out, please. I don't care about that." I when she said that me. I better not come alone, I took that as a threat, as what you said right there. Her and her family might, you know, jump me coming out of whatever the situation is. So I took that as a threat. So what I said is, I. Turn that bitch out. Ain't no way I'm getting jumped. Nah, see, it's supposed to be boxing, right? So right. if you go on, if you go into a boxing event, one thing you gotta know, like even with Zab with the celebrity championship boxing, even though it's not pro, it's for people like us, it's still security there. It's still it's still gonna be respect there, you know. So when you when you going into a his is more on the street, so like you literally probably would have been fighting in a in a gym and then come out in the parking lot. You got a hundred bitches on their turf. You know what I'm saying? You don't need that. Do you ever notice a lot of fighters be fighting outside their areas? Why you think they go to Vegas and all of that? You know what I'm saying? Like you, he throwing events street style. On his turf, so you you don't you, you gotta be careful pulling up at his turf, especially if you don't know him. Now, I went out there to meet him. He him personally, no, he's a good man. Personally, I'm I'm telling you all the truth. Woods, whole lot of Woods is a good man. Got good hospitality, but he he throwing street events, and you just don't know how them street events is going to turn out. And I would never suggest any of you, especially when a conversation starts going to the streets to go pull up at a boxing event that they talk in street. Don't do that. And it doesn't make you a bitch. It doesn't make you a bitch. It makes you safe. Go home to your family. You you see these rappers, they can't go home. They can't go home to their families no more. They, you know what I'm saying? They can't take care of their kids. Don't go pulling up on somebody's turf. They talking boxing. You're supposed to be boxing, but they talking street. Right, right, right. And don't even condone. Another thing is, stop condoning that talk on social media because what those girls are doing... Hold up. So, wait. <clears throat> I just called in to say me. You play outside. You, and then they yeah. go... They're gonna call the police. They're gonna call the police. Okay, give me a second, real quick. Let let because them here got something to say real quick. So let him. Yeah, when you when you, when well, you play uh, outside, you can't you can't be playing Bobby Billions. We we don't listen to him. We don't support Bobby Billions. We fast forward through his part. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he the the song. <laughs> Y'all could have let her finish what she was saying. Her little thought. Wait, I am. I'm finna jump down. I just want to say this. Hey, no, no. Yeah, because we don't fuck with him. And don't drop. Who was Bobby Billions? Because I ain't Who you just played? I thought I played Mo three. 
Yeah, it was it was it was Bobby Billions featuring Mo Three, which he didn't he didn't took Mo Three off the song. Now he got uh, a free uh, 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 what's his name is freestyling oh, to the trap boy Freddie freestyling to it. Just a bunch yeah. of disrespect. I don't know the whole goddamn beat, but what I know is is shout out to Mo Three, and I like that goddamn. They scared they come outside. If y'all tell me what songs I can play. Let me know, but don't get up here talking about some other stuff. And y'all know we don't mess with we don't mess with Bobby Girl, Billions, man. Nobody getting up here talking about no other yeah, stuff. We just got up here to tell you that we don't uh that folk don't like that that the, the Bobby, Bobby Billions uh outside. Tell me who you like and who you don't like. Fast yeah. forward through that part next time, Mink. Mink, you hear me? Wait, no. Tell me when I'm not on TV. Tell me when you telling the news. Nigga. Oh, to, uh, yeah, you hear it? We don't, we don't do that. We don't play Bobby Billions' part. We fast forward it. I probably, look. All right. Now, who is this mad ass woman back? This is crazy. Oh, let this lady come back up. Ma'am. She says she calm yeah. now, but then she's steady cussing in the back chat. Like, this is crazy. We got to get her out of here because we can't. This is, you messing up our vibe. Bitch, let me up, Dumbo. Man, oh, my blood's coming. Like, what the hell? Somebody gonna die at the end. What's the problem? What's the problem? What do you have to say? But you know what? I ain't gonna even get into my motherfucking charges. I'm not gonna even get into that. I said what the fuck I said because I still have a motherfucking open taste. That a lot of you bitches hey, will hey, want, hey, but I'm not. Hey, hold up. You're gonna get thrown the fuck out. I'm not hey, gonna get motherfucking time hey, for hey, And you hey, all hey, 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 wishing and praying I am, but I'm not. Hey, who are you? But you don't even talk on me. What happened? But what I would say, your fat stink ass. Hold up, wait, 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 ma'am, ma'am. What not happened with me? Look, I'm dropping everybody. Y'all gotta go. It's me. And oh, her. I see some real niggas at your yes. fuck ass. What happened? You up here by yourself, ma'am. Everybody's gotta go. What you got going on? It's me and you. What happened? Hello, ma'am. Conchella Johnson. Hello? Chell, is she backstage? Conchella, come back. Tell us what happened. Then a bitch got all these. Eh, eh. Like, I don't get you, bitch. No, hold up, hold up. Like, I don't me. get you. Conchella, me? No, fuck, nigga. I ain't got to tell you. Motherfucking it's me and you. You it's me and you. See, nobody ain't popped you in your motherfucking big fat stank ass shit. You want so much motherfucking fame, wait till it's not even funny. Your dirty ass, your dirty ass bed, and no fucking fat undercover. What is the problem? Calm down. We need to know what's going on. Stop playing with me. You thought you had a story today, huh? You thought you had a story. Bitch, you ain't got no motherfucking story, bitch. It's never a story when it comes to that, bitch. Because I don't even play. I don't even play, bitch. You don't have to have facts. Okay. Facts. They said it's a recording, so let me let first it play. Thing you see, first thing you say, your driver with suspended license. Oh, everything is so fake. Fuck, nigga, I can take you on a whole motherfucking tour. tour of my motherfucking shit, bitch. A whole tour. Mm. Especially in my motherfucking closet, bitch. Don't play with me. I'm sleep. Find somebody to fucking play with, bitch. But I'm sleep. Don't fucking play with me. But I'm sleep. Talking all that shit. That's why y'all fuck ass be on a motherfucking t shirt. But it's not making no sense because I'm asleep. Oh. Conchella, you can't make it make no sense with the recording? And it's clearly on you. Huh? On what thing? On what thing? Of no, course, if you push no. your reason out on, on your no, page, no, you you're me. going to get views and likes. Hold oh, on, we gotta get this out of control. Listen, what are you that talking all about? All you want it? No, I feel like it's a recording. Where's your money? Outside. Where's your dollars? Outside. Where's your coins? You just okay. There should be more to this than just likes and views, dog. Mm -hmm. It got to be. No, it's a difference. You gotta go. Stop telling me I'm too wrong for. Stop telling me, oh, I'm 
this and I'm that. No, bitch. I ain't gonna get myself, disrespected bro. by Ned, bitch. And I ain't finna let Ned fuck that hoe and that nigga have no fake ass story about me. So they just played a recording. Hold on, y'all. I didn't know what it was. Fuck y'all got going on. But when it's y'all, y'all yeah. wanna. <laughs> but bitch, when it's me, I'm supposed to have sympathy. I wanna hear the recording. Damn. They knew I was about to block them. They got me. I was trying to block them out, but at least next time I know when they come. Sorry, y'all. We just had a little coochie junkie. And see, that's why that's why you don't take this internet stuff serious. You see how you see that? All that do is make numbers go up. You could keep that bitch in here because they all they do is bring up the numbers. Bitch ain't gonna do well, nothing. No, she ain't gonna bust a fly. I know, I know. You know, so okay. You, you that's why I was wow. saying you gotta decipher up, what's um, real and what's not. Like, and a lot of that stuff on social media is fake. It's a, it's a whole nother world. It's a fake world where you could just say anything and claim is reality. Reality is when you see a motherfucker in the street face to face and you try to figure out what to do next. But this right here is a fake world. So you can entertain it or you or you don't have to entertain it. See, that's how I felt this day when Man, I was I, 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 I was looking for something. That's something different. Mm, 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 mm. No, but yeah, so. I know now. Like I didn't need to know y'all. That was a I listened to the recording. What is that? Cat. So, my you know, question no. really was how would you feel if somebody was playing with you as far as you boxing? One minute they telling you you boxing, the next minute they telling you you're not. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, they keep going back and forth with this. How would you feel or how would you take it? That was really my question. Oh, but see, I don't, I don't fuck around with fuck people. So I'm a part of a real boxing network. So if a well, bitch Woods called, was the one that actually did this. So what I'm saying is Woods a fuck nigga for doing that? Woods is, it Woods is an entertainer. <laughs> okay, so hold on. So Woods is a promoter. Woods is throwing this event. Woods is telling me that I'm fighting. Then Woods telling me I'm not. Then he ain't even telling me I'm not. He's not telling me nothing. I'm finding it out through the bitch that I'm supposed to be fighting. He's telling her everything, but ain't told me That's nothing. What That's what you gotta understand. In that okay. So, okay. The difference between the difference between who Woods is and who Zeb Judah is. What would you say? And Gigi, just listen to what she gotta say. <laughs> That dude is a real fighter with a real boxing network. So if his fight, if his fight is canceled, you gonna know up front. He gonna tell you, um, he's gonna contact you directly, not all of that going back and forth, social media, getting the numbers up type thing. And and another thing is Zab doesn't condone street talking. Y'all get to talking street, he gonna shut that down. Like, nah, we about boxing. What do you mean talking street though? When you start talking about grabbing guns, knives, yeah, uh, jumping, and all of that, that's that's street talk. Okay. So, would you say that both fighters, when they start talking in street uh, talk, would you say that both fighters would be out of the 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 event, or yeah, because you can't endanger, you can't. You can't take a chance of endangering people's lives. Cause what if they serious? We don't you don't we don't know if they serious or they playing. You come out there, you shoot a gun and somebody uh, innocent bystander die. We can't play we can't get down like that. Okay, so so what I'm saying is so both of them should be out. So one of them say, Well, okay, you better not come along and the other one say, Well, I'm gonna earn this motherfucker out. At that point, do you say no? Y'all can't even no, come. It's that's no, right. it's no to the fight. Y'all, that's it. Because y'all going too far. Y'all supposed to be about boxing, nothing else. Come, if y'all talking about boxing and y'all boxing, it, it should be about boxing. Anything else is not relevant. Okay, I just wanted to know because he had put he. That was his first reasoning for putting me out of the uh uh the boxing match because he said that I said that I was going to air it out, but I said, and which I did, that was my response to what she said as far as I bet not come along. So I took it as a threat. So I sent the threat right back to her. So he said, no, nah, just don't even come. You can't come no more, but he still continued to say, okay, well she can fight. 
although she was the one to initiate that, you know what I'm saying, that back and forth right there. Well, he's okay. going to say she's a fight because she's in his neck of the woods. Yeah. She's on his yeah. turn. And he Most was training time. her as well, supposedly. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, this is going to keep it neutral. We did give um, was the link. So, what I'm saying is, if somebody was to issue you a threat and then you issued a threat back that was out of bounds, so to speak, right? So, if somebody say like, yeah, if you come, you better pull up with with more people, and then you be like, "Bitch, if you go, you gonna jump me? I'm gonna edit that bitch out." Like, what what does that consider? If two people issue a threat that's out of bounds, and then what do you consider out of bounds? And this is your personal preference, or like normally, like what goes on? You've been doing it for a, a, a while, so what would you consider out of bounds when it comes to you, like a threat on some street boxing or? And then the, that, that fight between them two is off. It's off because you cannot take a chance and be jeopardizing people's lives. Bullets have no names on it, you know. So you get fighters, you get these two fighters who's who's so mad at each other that they trying to take a street. It's off. It's done. That's it. No, no boxing match between them at all. Okay. So even if even if it's one, let's say one is initiating the threat of street, and the other one wants to box, the fight is still off because you cannot you cannot jeopardize people's lives. Okay, so with if one issued a threat, or if both issue a threat, would you still allow like okay, y'all issued a threat to each other, so I'm going to. Um, do a fight with the person I like and somebody else. Well, he in that situation, that young lady probably is still on the card, like I said, because she already is there on his turf. He's training her. So what he will have to do is basically get a fighter that's like out there. That's already there in Dallas. Like get her an opponent that's there, cause all of that, a a fighter flying in from another city. No, I wouldn't suggest it. So is it easier? So does it make more sense for you to have a fighter where both of them, both of them, are in the same town or same city? In the same, is is it makes sense in a situation like that for them to be in the same town, same city? Because uh, unless unless their quarrel is street, now that that can be controlled a lot more than somebody coming in from out of town onto another territory. Okay, so could that have more? To well, do with, they have more to do with it. The fact that okay, so you got. So let me just give you the let, let let me give you the 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 like the the geographics of it. So you have Gigi, right? Gigi is in what what's, what state are you in again? Oklahoma. I'm in Oklahoma. I'm in Tulsa, I'm four hours away from the. She from Oklahoma. Dallas. She's mm -hmm. got beef with a girl on social media that's in Dallas, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So both of them have shot. Um, the, the fighting words to each other, right? Like you mm. said, if you talk about somebody's deceased mom, that's fighting words. If you talk about somebody's deceased child, that's fighting words, right? Right. So, either way, it's fighting words. No matter how you look at it, those words are fighting words, right? And fighting words and threats are totally different, though. Okay, so let's get back. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk about the fighting words. When it comes to fighting words, do you use a uh, fight? Would you say that fighting words are used against somebody in a fight? Um, when you're looking at it, like, okay, she said a lot of fighting words. Somebody said a lot of fighting words. Is that like no? You you told me earlier that that that, that was normal. Fighting words. Fighting are words normal. are normal. Fight, fighting words are normal, but to the extent that us that don't box do it. Okay, it, so it, it, it digs deep in hell, you know. It it goes deeper than hell. so it the way we all are doing it, it it it's supposed to drive somebody to be like, you know what? I'm getting in the ring. I'm gonna fuck her up. She talked about my dead mom. She talked about my dead daughter. It's supposed to make them really want to step in that ring, especially uh, a coward that's uh 
that didn't really want to step in the ring and doing a call out. <laughs> so, so basically, fighting words, um, talking about somebody's okay with somebody's deceased mother or child. Would would deceased a deceased mother or child be be considered fighting words? It's fighting words. Okay, so those are fighting words, and it's normal. It's not normal though, but it is fighting words. Okay, so if normally if somebody is using fighting words, would they be disqualified from a fight? Or if two fighters or one fighter was using too many fighting words, would you be like, oh, uh -uh. no, you did? Did you see the fight with back in the day when Mike Tyson told told somebody he was gonna eat their kids, and I right. think uh, uh Sugar Ray Leonard told told his opponent. He was going to fuck his wife. You know, so, no. Fighting words is fighting words. Yeah, those are normal. You yeah, know, those you, are normal things fighters say, about to say to each other. Okay, yeah. so we can say that the fighting words part wouldn't, like, make it like, oh, no, nah, they can't fight each other because he said fuck his daughter or fuck his kid. No. Hell no. Nah. That makes you that makes you want to get in the fight. Cause one thing, if y'all learn boxing and if you go through the training to take boxing before you get in that ring, you gonna learn that it's not a good idea to get in there angry. So you making your opponent angry, you throwing them off so they not focused when they get in the ring. They'll, you you got a good chance if you train the right way and you get in the ring, you could beat the shit out of your opponent because you done got their mind all all discombobulated. Right, because they fucked up with some anger. They all right. come, they trying to fight out of anger. You don't, you can't box boxing. You cannot box out of anger. Only a few percentage of fighters can box out of anger and be under control. Okay, all right. So, so the fighting words are used by people that are trying to basically fuck up their opponent's mental. Their mental. Mm hmm. All but right, when so. you start taking it to the streets, that's a that's a whole nother thing. All right. Okay. So let's get to the street part. So the street part, when when it gets to the street part, so the words like as far as the mental part is the talking about somebody, kid, mama, dad, uh, some old weird, crazy shit talking about their family, right? Right. I'm going to fuck your man. Bitch, I'm going to fuck your right. man. You know, right. that's throw you off, get you mad, have you angry, have your mental all crazy. But right. when you start... The street shit, right? So the street yeah. shit, what is, what is considered like something like, whoa, like out of bounds, we got to stop it. Um... Pulling the guns, I'm, bitch, I'm going to hit your head. Don't come to my city by yourself. All that type of shit. Fight us all. That's it. Okay. Wait, what was that, uh, Jamie? Jamie, are, what, that look like that look like crack and uh, weed. Miss Jamie, is that? Oh, that's crack. That's a yeah, she's talking about she the queen of Dallas. She's 88's mama. Like, this, they being weird hey, tonight. I want to see. You 88 mama? Hey, baby. Yeah. Hey, girl. Fine, babies. Now, when y'all... So, anyway. But, anyway, they said they was 80 mama. But, anyway. um, So, the queen... Thank you for showing us. But anyway, so back to the threats. So a threat like you better not come by yourself is like a street threat. That's that's a street, a street threat. threat. Okay. So if somebody said um, you better not come by yourself and then somebody said, bitch, I edit, edit motherfucker out. That's it. That? that fight is off. Fight is off. So do you still let up, both up, fighters up, fight? Like if, they, if they're up, fighting up, someone else? Hold up, DG. No. Is, no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Is the fight between both people? Who who initiated the threat? If somebody said, you better not come by yourself, then everybody gone. If, if somebody said, hold on, GG, come back up. GG and goddamn. If somebody said you better not come by yourself, and then there was a person that said, "Damn, we gotta wait till they come back." She almost answered it. Come back, Gigi. So if somebody said, 
Listen, if somebody said you better not come by yourself, that's a street threat, right? That's a street threat, yes. Okay, and then if another person said, I air that bitch out, is that a street threat? That's a street threat. So both are, th are street threats. Both are street threats. Yep. Does it matter who said the? Th okay, so it doesn't matter who initiated it first. Them two are now taking it to the streets, so they cannot fight. Now, the the question came up: Could they fight on the car but not fight each other? No. Because y'all, they still gonna be on the same car. They still gonna be on the same car with beef. Mm -mm. No. Once anything of them two goes to the street, they they need to be separated. So okay. So would you okay? Do you think in, in your do you think that either fighter would be able to okay? Would one be able to attend and the other be able to fight? Um, sometimes you've, you've seen fighters who like get into it and have words, but when it's street like that, they got to tread lightly unless it's, um, some serious, serious security there. Mm -mm. No, I would, I, I, I wouldn't allow it me personally. And I, and I honestly, I, when I get a chance if I'm able to get David Flat Sparks, David Flat Sparks got a, a temper, but he's level headed. But Zab Judah is all the way level headed, and it's absolutely no streets with us. So I can get one of them to come up here, and they can also give y'all y'all the perspective. But I say yeah. no, you know. I say no, you know. And I've, so, I, I've, I've been around all of them long enough. Promoters, boxers. I've been around all of them for years, you know. And it, it nothing goes to the streets. It Even when Zab decided to do Celebrity Championship Boxing, um... Uh, it was a it was a guy that was a big that that's a big name guy that's a part of the Bloods. Um, he real known. And when one of the fighters was asking to fight him, Zab said no. He said no because he already knew like the guy would, you know, try to come at him in the parking lot. It would be a mess. So. Okay. So how did Woods end up? Coming to a boxing event and him himself actually getting jumped. Because like, he was they... talking, he was talking shit on social media. He kept coming on our platform talking shit. So when he pulled up, you know, with us, it's all call outs and mandatory. But if you bold enough to pull up, we boxing. You don't get your ass. You don't get fucked up. We represent boxing. So you gonna get punched on, but are you gonna get shot? Hell no. Nah. Are you gonna go home to your family? Damn right. We're gonna make sure you go home to your family. We're gonna and they might fight him and shake hands with him, give him a hug. Shh, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what fighting is about. That that's something that we don't have in this generation where you fight and afterwards you shake hands and or you do a rematch, whatever. This generation you fight, you get beat up, motherfucker wanna kill somebody. Right, but if you fight and get jumped, you can also not make it out alive they believe me they ain't jump him so bad when he he a part of our, he part of our squad he we fucks with him he ain't, they ain't jump him that damn bad <laughs> they might have ruffled his feathers a little <laughs> right so if so would you okay they didn't stomp woods out and all that nah hell nah they ain't do it but they I know they they fucked them up. But they ain't they ain't, they ain't go to the they ain't go to this thing where they put him in a hospital and they boxers, so they not gonna put Woods in no hospital and all that. Also, Woods military, so Woods can fight. He know how to fight, right? So he know how to fight. But okay, so let's say it was a female that I let's say out of outside of Gigi because Gigi and. And the other young uh, dope thing had their own situation. So outside of that, when you're dealing with people that are like, okay, I want to go to an event by myself, but it's multiple 
girl. I didn't talk shit. I said, I'm going to beat their ass. It's multiple people that that's saying that they want to fight me. And I go to the event. Like, who's this? Who is to? And you went, and this was an event that was a Zeb Judah event. I'm a millionaire. A professional right. boxer. Okay. Yeah, so, and he was talking shit to our squad. We we are part of Zab Judah squad, so you can't talk shit to us and then come out and show face. <laughs> it don't it don't work like that. So this happened in the parking lot before after a fight. Oh, it happened as soon as he pulled up. You know he came. He was bold with it. He came. They had, they had the door on that ass. Like what? Who you was talking to? Yeah. <laughs> See, and so they, that's why that's why you gotta be real careful when you throw these events. To make sure it's not street because, yes, ours was boxing. He 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 got scraped up a little bit, you know, and he was able to go home to his family. He, Pooh Black, hit the link, Pooh Black. What's your questions, Pooh Black? Because I'm I'm trying. I want to know what you had to say too, because I can relate to somebody that's from where I'm from. A little bit more than I can relate to me uh, flying out to, to Dallas after you know I didn't say that I, I, I'm talking about at this point I'm wondering about myself because I mean you got Sco Gang and me if I was to pull up to a Sco Gang event with some hoes that can't fight me on their own jump me no nah, I wouldn't pull up I would if I was you no I would not pull up to now let's say they take it if he was to have it outside of Dallas. You know, he have it in another another city somewhere outside of his hometown, outside of their hometown, and it's all y'all go to the fight. Then that's different. But when you're doing it on turf, it's dangerous. No, you don't do that. And I just want to keep it 100, though. Like, for people that are traveling outside, like Gigi, Gigi hit the, come back and hit the link because that's, that's real shit, though. Like, if Woods travel outside of his city and got jumped, Okay. And it's not no offense to Woods, but we got to keep it 100. Like, we understand that you're a promoter and everything, but like, you do have to keep it 100. Like, you got Gigi that it, and then you got Sco Gang that's going to be there. And at this point, it's a Sco Gang event. So, if Gigi was to go to a event where that's where their squad is at, and Gigi's coming from Oklahoma and she's traveling to Dallas. No, it's not, it's not like a minute that she attend. No. It's not recommended that she attend at all? No. Mm -mm. No. Wait, no. so she can't attend at all? Not at all. Mm -mm. Gigi, no. what do you think the, about the beef, the beef went too far. And if if she do attend, if she do attend, she's attending off of, off of ego. Like, fuck that. I ain't letting no bitch. You can't do that, though can't do that y'all y'all took it to the streets and you just never know what streets turn into you can't do that no no everybody traveling from all over but no Gigi, if you Gigi, hit the link for real like real shit i'm from out of town too so let's just be real gg everybody is traveling all over but y'all coming on their turf yeah i mean you gotta you gotta think realistically like Y'all talking y'all rep y'all representing y'all representing a rapper that's no longer here and he died on his turf. Why would you go travel after you done got into it with somebody on the internet in a street fight and think that you supposed to live but he didn't and he was on his turf? Now you getting ready to go on his turf where he died. Right. All because you don't want to no. feel like you were a bitch. Let me tell you what I did get from you. With all due respect to um to uh Woods, Woods, when you traveled out of town, you got jumped, right? Cause, Cause he was boxing. We represent boxing. We don't represent the streets. So of course he could come to our platform and do that. But uh, could we go to his platform and do that? No. Will Will we as CCB go to Dallas and trust him that we will be attending a straight up event without the street? No. But can he come to our platform and trust that he can go home to his family on a boxing event? Yes. Wait, say that again. Say that. He can come point. to our platform because we represent boxing and go home to his family. But we can't trust to go to his platform 
and think that we can make it home to our families because he letting his fights go to the streets. Right, but if he's not... Okay, but this is what I'm saying. Okay, but he came to your platform. You said that he, he came to Cali, right? From he came to Cali to the... And mm -hmm. got jumped. He was talking yeah. shit. He came to your turf. He came on... He, and he came to our fight. Our right. fight. Right. He and he got... And he got jumped, but he went home because you know why? We represent boxing. He right. is allowing streets. So they talking about busting guns or no, no. No, no. I can say that he's still trying to say like guns down and uh motherfucking uh but they uh, already he already allowed the argument to take place on social media. So okay. no, it's a no. It's happened because you know. Let's 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 tell the truth. When somebody die, the the videos, all this stuff that we're doing right now, y'all know is being recorded, right? The oh, fans is watching. I agree, Gigi. But just because, hold on, Gigi, I agree. But just because something that you went through, something that you went through, what I what, now you can speak from experience, and now I feel like I, for me now I get it. Because Gigi, you was coming from out of town, I was coming from out of town, and I really wasn't talking much about the shit. But I get it. If I was to come, I see you poop black. Uh, but I get it, and not to, not to discredit his event or anything like that. But I'm talking about if you are a person, and so it makes more sense to me uh, about what really happened, right? They took Gigi off the fight, but then you have two people that are actually in Dallas in that turf. You understand, Gigi? You understand? You got uh, dope things sin and uh, crackhead uh, uh, eighty eight. They supposed to fight. Why? Mink, are you still here? Is Mink still here? I wanna um, if y'all can hear me, I, I wanna go get Woods. I'm I'm about to call him because I'm I'm kind of shocked that he having a boxing event that went to the streets. So if y'all can hear. Me, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, y'all. Tell me my connection. Can y'all hear me? Me, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Am I, yeah, am I air going? 
No, I think it's usually echo. It, yeah, it probably is me. Um, you asked me to uh come back up here, Mink. Um, yeah. I'm going to let Pooh Black go, but this is the thing. These are, these are, it's not like I'm asking questions like, oh, uh, I'm wanting to fight. I still want to fight. I, I made a decision, a sound decision for myself that I am no longer fighting at the event. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just speaking on if I was still fighting, basically. You know what I'm saying? But that's not even that's no, not even I what's going that, on. I think that it really for me when I did speak to her today, it made me think of a lot of what she was going through as far as yeah, but the, the whole mean. thing, right? She but she don't know about the plays that's being ran, ride. people wanting their money back. Like it's a lot that's going yeah, on with this situation about, I mean, with that's Wood. A, that's a whole nother that's a whole nother conversation. Okay, okay but that's, that's, that's a part of this conversation because that's what we're talking about. Let me no, speak well, on we can talk about that, but at this point, like you know how it's like a part A, B, C, and of a conversation. What she was telling us about is like, okay, cool. You, I'm, I'm hearing somebody that's been going to more, even more professional events, and even the person that's promoting the event to to us got jumped. I, right? I mean, uh, so I yeah, salute, to, salute to you and Gigi. Am I wish yeah. to tell the truth? Salute, uh, Pooh. I wish the uh, Taylor chick was up here. Okay, she probably gonna call right back in though, cause her phone been. She doing coming back, yeah, she coming back, and I don't even got my computer, so my my computer keep going dying. Okay, hold on. Um, first, first off, so, uh, salute to y'all women. You know I ain't finna get up here and disrespect now one of y'all. Yeah. But let me let me address somebody in the chat. Whoever Phoebean, Fabian, Phobia, whoever you is, check this out. First I off, person. okay, they 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 was in the chat. First off, uh -huh. I'm not a part of no drama. I'm not a part of no 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 mess. So when you no no no, it's cool. I ain't even disrespect your channel. So when y'all saying something to me in the comments, I'm gonna respond how I'm responding because y'all said it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Gigi? Yeah, that was me. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna respond how I'm gonna respond because salute Taylor. Hey, salute. Okay, check this out. I'm going to respond how I'm going to respond because you you being messy in the chat going from channel to channel, asking questions, relating messages, and saying all type of shit, which the shit don't make no sense. First of all, whoever Phoebean or Phobian, whoever you is, you steady trying to st throw a narrative as if somebody being messy and it's, and it's a bogus thing. Okay, now tell, let me tell you how it went left. Where it went left at is the internet. He didn't know nothing about what was going on on the internet. He did. He not. He he never addressed and said, "I'm having a street fight." He never addressed that. The internet took it like that. He didn't know nobody was beefing. He didn't know how serious it got. Or none of that. Now, what I can say is, when Gigi wanted to fight. He kind of it kind it kind of went level a little bit because he jumped right in on the YouTube listening to Gigi. You know what I'm saying? When it kind of was when Gigi was already riled up. Now Gigi wanted to fight her. Now me, just on me, I respect you too. So I ain't gonna call hey. nobody no club. Yeah. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna respect everybody by their yeah. name. When yeah, Queen yeah. when Queen and Gigi wanted to fight. They just wanted to fight. They wanted to box it out. Now, I feel like if they would have boxed it out, whatever it was, the fight would have been over. It wouldn't have been no drama because at, at Wood's event, his event is ran like a professional event. You got security there. You got everything going how it's supposed to go. Now, now Taylor, check this out. He not. He wasn't. He the same guy who you know, and he carried his business. How he carry his business. He wasn't having no street fight outside the fight. What 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 ticked him off was when a lot of people on the YouTube, which YouTube ain't nothing but a lot of mess ass people, mess ass people that stay messy to where it made Gigi look like you know she was part of the mess when she was just going out or what she wanted to go out for. She was like, fuck that. They want to fight. I want to fight too. So when somebody said they gonna do this, she gonna do that. I feel like Gigi didn't say. I'm a earn a bitch out like she finna come shoot it up. My right. opinion, she just wanted to defend herself too because she was just hearing mm -hmm. certain things, which it wasn't like that. But what I think was, I don't even think Queen was trying to say nothing like that. I think the conversation and the way that they was talking about it, it made it look like it was gonna be something else, you know, after the fight. But what was looking at. He was looking at it like this right here. Say, man, I don't want the event to get tortured. I don't want the event to get fucked up. I can't have none of that, which 
You're right, Taylor. If, if somebody's saying that they're going to do this and they're going to do that, you're right. Both fighters should be out. I, I agree with that. But by the fight going on, and, you know, my thing is, Gigi. If she don't I, have no background. Hold up. So listen, Poop Blade, because I agree with you too, right? And and we talked. I talked to Woods about this before, right? And right. I think that she's going off of, uh, off what, what she's saying. And the reason why I asked that question, and I'm going to tell you why I asked the question. I asked that question because automatically that would be something that's like, oh no, that's too far. But like, if you hit dealing with two people that never fought before in no street shit or nothing like that, it's, that, it's something that should have been told. Like, okay, maybe those words were exchanged. And, and I told, uh, uh, what is this before? The words that were exchanged and the things that were said, they were said off of like rookies, people that don't know what you should or shouldn't say in this type of uh, is disqualifying. They don't know that like okay, you can't go that far. But like when both when when one person go that far and then you like oh no, you went too far. They don't know that they went too far because the other person always goes really far. You know what though, Ming? Check this out. And I agree with you. Check me out. I agree with you. I agree with everything what you're saying on that aspect. I agree with the questions that you were asking a little bit, you know, because the interview, the it could have went left because you know the way that you're making it out as if you know you just trying to see what's going on because two years ago you didn't know nothing about a whole lot of wood. So when you get on the internet, you start hearing fight her. Gigi didn't even know nothing about a whole lot of wood. Right. So she's looking at it like when I see them training. Damn, are they trying to get me? Or are they trying to do that? No. Actually, I've been around uh, Poop Black for a long time. I, I've been knowing about a whole yeah, lot of people. Even know when what? Duke fought a whole lot of people. Oh, 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 you know know my bad. Keep going. Now, now you know what? You are, about, you know? I'm coming from a place where people who have... This is my first time hearing about this. My first time hearing about it. I don't know who a whole lot of woods is. I don't know what's going on. So but for the people that are uh, kindergartners on this... What, where does like a normal fight like okay so I, I, if it's not a whole lot of woods fight okay so people do this other places okay, okay. No, let me let me explain to you though let me explain to you listen okay. all I wanted okay. to do was buy take a shot no, in, bitch yeah. afterwards yeah. in Dallas in Dallas they have a lot of street fights Woods fights is guns down gloves up so when people go to Woods events they know that you can't bring no gun inside the event. The internet, let's get this, let's get this clear right quick. The social media, which is the internet, which is YouTube, which, which is these crazy ass, goof ass people that's on the internet, they say one thing and somebody else run with the narrative and say this right here. Now we can't get mad at them. Now we, we we can't really trip on them because they don't know. So, but a lot of people that know about the event, they know that it's not going down like that. Now, for people like GG, then I already knew about the event, and it done been plenty of videos around. Now we gotta understand this. When Duke Farrow came down here, it was way more shit talked about Duke Farrow than anything. They were talking about how they gonna do this to Duke, how when Duke get down here, this gonna happen. When Duke Farrow came down here, Duke Farrow came in. He came in, he was ready to box. When he, he walked around it like one night, you know, he walked around it as a civilian. You know, he was look, uh, shaking people's hands, fucking with people and everything. Did anybody touch him? No. Okay, from YouTube, it wasn't even a lot of people from YouTube there, but they was on the internet yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping and talking. Okay, this year, the internet beef have, have went too far. So when you start talking about the dead kids, you start talking about the dead, you know, the dead people that's deceased, you know, you start going far like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm saying. Cat Taylor. Yes. Respect, who, I do, who I do respect, like, this is not no disrespect. When y'all start talking about the dead kids and dead, you said, Cat Taylor, that when you start talking about somebody, mom or dead mom or something like that, those are fighting words. But no, let me help they you are. out. Man. Hold on, hold on. Let me help you out, though, man. Let me help you out. Hold up. But this is the this is the hold up. I'm, I got you. I promise. What I'm saying is, are those are those fighting words or the are those disqualifying words? That's what those I'm are saying. fighting words. Okay, all right. That's your opinion, Cat, Cat Taylor. And then, all right, Poop Black. What you think? What you? What like? I was saying was, okay. Hey, yeah. Somebody say, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I he didn't know you. nothing. Check me out. He didn't know shit about all that, though. 
He jumped right in ain't on YouTube. He jumped right back in this year and just started listening to people channels and see people think he'd be listening to people channels and he be doing his bogus shit. He not giving the money back. Check this out. Check this out. That boy is not cold and nobody money. That money is not that fucking serious when it comes to certain shit what's going on with this event right here. People but, uh, lying and yeah, you, wait a minute, wait a minute. But oh, they, they trying to flip the narrative on trying to say certain shit so they can throw the event off, which the event will not get through off because if somebody want a refund, he gonna refund them. That, that's no problem. Like who, who do, I mean, if the money's in, if the money's done, you don't pay your money, you are gonna get your money back. Well, you then got, he needs to communicate. See, 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 his communication was off. Bro. You can't, you can't say that it was. His communication was off. I was saying it from the gate that his communication. No, not you, Gigi. Say this. Hold up. Hold up, Bublé. Not with you, Gigi. Because no, no, no disrespect to you, Gigi. But this is the whole point. I heard out of my own mouth, uh, would say that people was talking about people deceased kids and and, and their mamas and stuff like that. But it's like if those are fighting words, and you're a boxer and you train it for an event, you know that those words are gonna be used. People are gonna drag people, kids, people gonna drag their loved ones, the dead ones, all that shit, because it's fighting words. So what I'm saying is, how was that used as, like, oh, no, y'all can't say this and y'all can't say this when it's normal fight culture that you say these things to people to get them to buck, like, to make the fight. Me, I mean, you want to know why do you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over? I think I pretty didn't, much I didn't repeat anything. I'm asking Pooh Black that question. Okay, let me answer this right quick for you, Mink. Okay, that was cat opinion you just asked for the opinion so okay. that was her opinion in the boxing world where they at which they they do celebrity boxing and you know they do real boxing because i heard her go in and i heard i'm talking about she went in and another lady went in and they said that but what i'm saying is wood's opinion probably be different now gg what i was explaining to you i wasn't explaining to you and saying that people not getting their money back no i wasn't going off your narrative I done heard it too. So you want the only one you you know that ain't just nothing you stated. I I heard it from people. So I was just clearing it up to just say when you want your money back, he gonna refund your money back. That that's what I'm telling you. And what I'm saying is, even if they fighting words and people saying about they dead babies, they saying certain shit, whatever they saying, I feel like on my opinion, all that right there. Was on the internet, and and, and 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 if it were personal, then it was personal with them. But when somebody wanted to box and they wanted to, you know, get in the ring, then that's that's when Cat was like, you know what, the fight off. I, I wouldn't even do it like that. Like if they both of them saying certain shit, now nah, it ain't going down like that. But what I'm saying is, nah, you you know you can say whatever, but it's the threats. Once you start going into threats, then that is that's where you cross the line. Saying okay. stuff to make somebody throwing them off their square, throwing them off their square. square you have witnessed like yourself, people saying like dirty things to each other outside of the threat part. But I'm saying like if you you saying like hard shit, like just going below the belt as far as words. Because I feel like it's one thing to say words, and then this other thing. There's we have another thing that's threats. Okay, cool, but. Because what I heard Wood say myself is that y'all was talking too much about each other's kids. It was, and, and, and I'm like, well, if you, if Kat is telling me, like, okay, well, if this is boxing, y'all say stuff about uh, people. You know what I'm saying? You say below what the belt type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, me, check this out right here. Okay, when Gigi was expressing her promotion and she was talking about boxing, the other uh, point, I don't believe that she was. Meaning that she going to come shoot the bitch up. I don't believe that. I believe that whatever she was saying, she was just defending herself on what was going on. Okay, now, if it's a boxing event, I'm with what Taylor was saying. Our fight should be out. But it, that's something that he should that's something that he should have said, you know what? Let me call Gigi, let me call Queen, and let me see if this shit really, really personal. Because if it's that personal, I'm finna just say fuck this and go to the next fight. Cause I ain't finna I ain't finna let nobody fuck the event up. That's probably how he should have read the right there. Now, when he was talking to Gigi, he jumped right in it and, and we're talking to Gigi because like I say, my thing is 
I feel like the YouTube took control of all the narratives and it never was a fur thing from, from the get-go. It never was fur because, you know, even though he was quite training Queen 88, that was that wasn't that was because she's in Dallas and they started training. There wasn't nothing that he just said, you know what, Queen 88, I'm gonna train you because I know you, and that's what we're gonna do. Now nah, he didn't do that like that. That wasn't going down like that. He he trained boxing, and that's what he do. When it comes to the street shit, that was at the park. That was four years ago, whole lot of woods, you know, at the park. When he brought it into a building, all that shit right there stopped. Now people saying that they gonna come, they threatening saying that they gonna shoot it up. Now everybody on YouTube was saying certain shit, how they gonna do this to the event, they gonna do that. So he was like, No, nah, I ain't finna have that going on like that. I ain't finna do that like that. That ain't how we finna rock the event. He didn't look at the shit like, yeah, I'm gonna let them fight with the gloves out. When we get outside, they go get it in. Now, now, when it comes to the fighting words, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't promote boxing. So whatever words they saying or however the words get said, shit, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't agree with certain shit because if y'all going to box, y'all going to box. But the YouTube world have made the event uh, a, a whole lot of a whole lot of bullshit because they thinking that they go get there, they go get fucked up, something going to happen. No, nah, that shit don't rock like that because it's a business. It's security. Uh, but but what, what Taylor was saying was if she she just looking at for somebody's safety, if they were saying all that and they felt like that, then I think they should show up. I, I think they should do it like that. I understand her like that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's, okay, there's no... Pooh Black, you in, yeah. you, in, you in Dallas, right? You in Texas. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, and I get it, right? So this is what I'm trying to say. This is what I got from what to, um, Kat told me today. She said, if you are from out of town, right, and you go onto enemy's turf, right, it's not a good idea, right, If you, especially if you've been talking shit. It's not a good idea because you don't know. But if there was an event on your turf, it's okay. I got, that's, that's what I got. And and I'm saying this not as far as to not promote uh, the event. I'm saying, like, speaking for myself, if somebody who um, she 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 rock with the money team, Zeb Judah, she didn't got Woods and came to her one of her uh, on her turf and got his and got jumped. And this is not no disrespect to Woods. I'm just keeping it a hundred for people who serving all the town. You got to be a bold motherfucker to really like go out of town to an event in Dallas, and that's their turf. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just not to. I'm not saying like nothing against Wood as far as that is concerned, but we got to be like realistic. Like, he even got jumped in, in another event, like when he was out of town. Okay, now check this out. But, but, I agree but, with what you but the difference was he he was. His was boxing. Even even when he was coming at us, we represent boxing. So it never went to nothing dealing with streets except for that that time when I told y'all about the whole rapper thing. But right. it never went to the street because even with that, that was shut down. Like once I contacted my squad, they like, oh no, nah, we we not about to do that. That's we shutting that down. Cat, I ain't got no knowledge of that. She ain't into that. You ain't about to do that. So they shut that down before it even got started. But we represent boxing. So when he came on our turf, yeah, he got jumped in boxing. But y'all done went to the streets with it. Like, man, I'm going to bust this, man. Don't come by yourself. Man, nah. Hey, nah he did. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm saying, Cat, though. He did come by himself, right? He, he came by himself and got jumped. Hey, me, can I say one thing real quick? Right. And it's not to discourage nobody. I'm just saying, like, I'm at this point, I'm over here just. And, hey, and see, y'all don't even know that. Did y'all did y'all even know that he came to an event? I uh, knew it. About I and knew got it. Jumped? No, you telling us this is very much so new information for me and for a lot of us. But what I'm trying to say is the incidents that, that happened is somebody said. I'm you gonna get jumped if you come by yourself. Somebody said you gonna get jumped if you come by yourself. So in Woods' case, he came by himself to an event and he got jumped. Man, yeah. Let me help you out. Let me help you out, though, man. Listen, okay, right, listen, yeah. okay, okay. Check right. this out, though, man. Even what she's saying, 
It uh, was a boxing event. Woods didn't go on the internet and say, when I get to New York, if y'all jump me, I'm going to shoot that bitch up. I'm going to fuck no, all he did all not. Up. He didn't say no, that. He did not. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I no, check me out. But it was he knew that it was boxing because it was a boxing event. He he okay. didn't go on the internet and say all that. What I'm saying is just like when you and the other chick was getting into it. What I'm saying is I want to be her motherfucking oh, ass. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to disrespect oh. everything about her. I swear to God, when I see oh, that bitch, I'm going to beat the brakes off. Hold on, me, me, me. Listen. Okay, listen. Okay, hold All on. Right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, let's keep it cordial like you got us up here. Let's just keep it cordial. What I'm saying is, when Woods got on the internet to start hearing all of that, through all the beef people, through everything they were going to do, just like when he put the clip up of the, the with, with you and the other shit, when he put y'all up on the clip, what I'm saying is, he's not thinking in his head at first that this shit going to be some, like, these people go come fuck this shit up. He, as a promoter, he's promoting the fight. He's not trying to uh, put no shit together where he wants y'all to come and kill each other because the thing about it is the internet took that shit and they was the ones saying all that they going to shoot it up, they going to do that. He did, not once, he did not one time say that, hey, when they do that, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that this happens. I'm going to let it go on. He didn't say that shit, so the internet is the one that, that took the narrative and ran with it and said what they were going to do to people, and, and now they making Woods look like his shit going to be some bullshit because what the internet saying, they the one saying when they see somebody, they going to do this, they going to do that right there. Now, my only thing about this is, did Gigi get a fair chance? No. Because like I said, Gigi could have got called on the phone and it could have went different to where Gigi would have understood what was going on. She would have been like, oh, okay, so this is what it is. Okay, no problem. This is what it is. Then the fight would have kept going. It would have went on because Gigi would have had in her head, oh, that ain't nothing but promotion. I ain't doing no trip. And I know that shit ain't going to be like that. But she looking at it as like, if I come down there and these motherfuckers talking about what they going to do to me and how they going to do it, Fuck that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, fucked up with you. You can't blame her for that. Just like what Taylor said, when somebody come from out of town and they go into a fight and they've been hearing all this shit on the internet, and they, when they've been hearing all this shit on the internet, of course they're gonna feel threat. They're gonna be like, oh, hell no. They ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna drive or fly nowhere. Then I pull up, I get bamboos and then something. Nah, I agree with that shit. But what I'm saying is, Wood's not promoting that though. He wasn't promoting that shit like that. That ain't nothing he was promoting. He wasn't promoting it to where uh, they come down here. We're going to do this. Just like I said, when Gigi come down here, G if, 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 if 30 motherfuckers security had to be right or whatever it is, like, and you ain't got to say nothing, Gigi. One shit going to happen. It was going to be a boxing event. After the event over, they going to have a good time. It wasn't going to be no personal shit. But the internet is the one made it personal. So we got to talk about why the internet made it so personal. We got to talk about why the subscribers started starting messing, throwing narratives and shit in there. And, and they the ones making this shit look worse. It ain't the promoter or it ain't the people throwing the fight. It's the people on the internet. So when, when people start saying the whole lot of woods, First, first people gonna say something is the people off YouTube. Well, I won't go to that because this gonna happen. You better be careful. Which I can't knock them for listening to their subscribers because y'all put hard work and time in y'all channel. So if y'all channel booming and y'all feel like y'all subscribers telling y'all, I don't think it'll be a good thing. It's for y'all to let them know. Hold up, hold up. I talked to Can him. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Woods events have a have a history of being. Um, bow guarded woods woods events have a history of something going wrong and somebody bamboozling his events. This this is nothing new to Woods. Woods events have been canceled on a number of occasions because somebody has stepped in and bamboozled his events. He has to really start buckling down and monitoring that stuff. Okay, what what event have what what event? Where I don't I, know which ones. You gotta talk to Woods. Okay, I sat over here and head. I called him. I called him to tell he can get in here and y'all can hear firsthand from him. But people have always tried to sabotage his events some type of way. I do yeah, know now, that now, about now, him. Now, now, now that's true. But check this out, Taylor. The events that he done had in the buildings, which which been he ain't had, but like two two events. And as a matter of fact. It was one. He only had one. It was 2021. He only had one event in a building. 
At rest of the events, they've been at, at the at the at the park in the woods. Okay, now when it comes to the certain boxes or certain people or certain people saying certain shit about certain events or what he got going, that's something that you, like you said he got to speak on. But when it comes to the building and people coming in and trying to do certain shit, that's not happening like that. When you come in a building and you come in a security in there, you got people at the door. Then no, ain't nobody getting killed out the event. Ain't nobody getting slaughtered. Ain't nobody going to the hospital. Ain't none of that. One none of that going down for the last three years. Last year, the reason why I got canceled, some personal shit. Probably it was some shit that was personal with him. Think he had his baby and some personal shit, but his events are not getting canceled because people coming in trying to threaten. And nah, it wasn't going down like that. That's not. It wasn't going. It wasn't on that aspect right there. It went on. That somebody saw. I know for a fact somebody sabotaged his events. Uh, a couple of them. I know that one for a fact. But he knows this, and with him knowing that, he has to. He has to stay on top of this type of stuff. He can't just ignore internet threats. Well, that's where we at right now with it. That's why he had already said, I'm not having none of this in my event. So that's why a lot of people feel like, damn. So I'm not boxing. I'm not doing this. So, okay, let me ask you a question. Have you been in the beef sector or the Mo3 sector or any of this YouTube stuff within the last three or four months? Like, have you heard anything what was going on? I'm just asking you a question. Uh-uh, no. Okay, mm -hmm. so check this out. Okay. He met me on a humble today. Okay, so check this out, Taylor. Within the last three or four oh, months. You met me. I met you today, honey. Earlier today. Earlier today. today. So check this out, Taylor. So check this out, Taylor. Within the last three or four months, the internet been so reckless to where if you heard anything within two or three months and you came on the show today and she, and she interviewed you you will be like, wait a minute, hold on. Is these the people that were saying this, or you'll be like, well, damn, or is this the, uh, is this the part of what the internet was doing this or saying this? It just been so so reckless on the internet within the last three four months to where I'm understanding what you're saying, but a lot of that internet beef and what's going on, that's why he jumped on that shit right now to so say, you know what, nah, I ain't gonna do it like that. Now, what one point you did make, if people threaten so much and they got so many threats and they going, they going, I'm talking about bamboozle over threats and on what they gonna do in certain shit, yeah, the fight should go off. Let's go to the next fight right there. Let's go to the next fight. But, but... Can I, can I but, hey, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Can y'all hear me? I, I'm, I don't know how to do this shit. Can y'all hear me? I want to piggyback yeah, on yeah, what I'm um, cool black This saying. is cool black. I just want you to know that this is not a um a, a live to like discourage. No, I got you. You just speaking your fact. You just speaking. You just trying no. to get some understanding. I, 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 hey, Mink, I want to say something. Normally, normally I'm not gonna be up here long. Okay, but normally he does like link and stuff. So what I'm saying is this is not a live to discourage anybody, but it just speaks. It's, it's just to speak facts, and if Woods was it, you know, I might have been joking around. He jokes around a lot too, but we even, you know, Gigi's going live after this. If y'all want to talk about it even further, I did pin the link for Gigi's live because we did roll over top of Gigi live. But this was not a live to discourage anybody. But it is, we were just speaking like for real, like you know, I'm not. I felt like people was talking about the fight, but they wasn't being realistic about certain things and. And we didn't hear from anybody outside, you know, like somebody else outside. I, I might have been trolling, like saying we was going to expose Woods. This was not a lie really to expose Woods. I was trolling. So it wasn't to disrespect him in no way. But when I did find out that she did know Woods, it was like, oh, wow. And she did, you know, she knows she she's, mm -hmm. you know, familiar with the boxing um, situation. I, I asked her the questions before I went live about you know, about threats and things like that in a normal situation. So this is not to discourage anybody from um, attending any of Woods, Woods events. This is not a promotional thing, but I do encourage Woods to promote his event um, just like anybody else would promote their event if they had to put all of their money into it. So I ain't got no problem with Woods as far as I'm concerned. Do I'm going to give you my opinion, though, me. It's just my opinion. Yeah, but I just want to say something before I drop down, y'all. Yes, you can, but give me one second. I want to say that this is not a public, this is not a promotion. This is not, but but it's also not. But if it was a promotion, I, matter of fact, yeah, this is a promotion. I am going to promote that young man for his event. I don't have no problem with him promoting his event, so I'm going to be very much so open about it. Um, you, we're going we gonna to learn about it. We still got month, uh, two months ahead, but what I'm saying is, 
as I'm learning about certain things, I'm gonna I, I may hey maybe I maybe we'll we'll report on it. It's the same thing every day to hood race beefing. No, I ain't got time for that. But what I'm saying is, I I don't I, I'm not doing this live to like take away from his event or you know encourage anybody to not go to his, to his event. I think he should be on the internet promoting. I, I think he should be going to platforms and and social media promoting. I encourage that. Um, but this is just, I, and I really, when I said I was going to dox him and expose him and stuff like that, I was joking. But what I can say, I did meet somebody absolutely today. It was not planned. It wasn't a play. But they did know Woods and had some, um, you know, knowledge of boxing events. So that's all I wanted to say for myself and for my people. We will be going to Gigi's Live. And she might not agree with everything I had to say today. Everybody going to have their own opinions. But, and Pooh Black might not agree. But my opinion is... He should promote his own event. He should be promoting from wherever, however he can get it. That's how he should be promoting. And I'm going to go on mute from there because I just want to make that public service announcement. Thank God. Hey. I forgot my thoughts. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm playing with I you. Mean. Mine, hey, Pooh Black. Hey, Pooh Black. What it do? I want to piggyback on, on what think, you I think, said. I think Yellow Nate wanted to say something. Go ahead, Yellow Yeah, Nate. I want to piggyback on what no, you said. No, I don't. I want to give a shout out to Woods, you know, like he, like I said, he, he done became like family. I didn't even know about the event. <laughs> she met me on a humble, you know, and it's a small world. And, um, I'm glad I was able to come in here and give y'all some clarity on him. He a good man, real good man. And, um, he got a lot of good hospitality. I mean, I know that the internet beef thing went, went kind of crazy, but if you always go out there one-on-one -on -one with him, he going to show a lot of love. It's, he, he not like that, but you going... She won 100% right. I'm, go ahead, I'm young nigga, hurry up. This, I, like I said, he came, he came to a Team CCB event, and yes, he did get jumped at the event, so don't think that it couldn't happen to you. Right. I'm being realistic. I'm being realistic. It ain't no like, oh no, it would never happen. But we still like, you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. But go ahead, yelling there. Let hold on, uh, Kat. Let let, let yelling there to get it in. Yeah, because I'm about to, I ain't gonna be up here long. But I want to piggyback on um what Pooh Black said. But we didn't. We got far off now. But like he said, um, I think the young lady said that um about the research, like doing her research on a promoter or whatever, right? A person that's throwing a fight. Then um. I guess Pooh Black has said something about that. He came on YouTube, and I guess it's like, I guess with all the beefing going on, he should have did his research, his research on his opponents as well. So it should have been, the research should have been done on both ends. I agree. Yeah, can you hear me? Like the yeah, research yeah, should have been done on both ends, and also, I understand why um, um Gigi was upset because just imagine hearing your opponent saying that or she ain't fighting like that's a smack in the face to hear your opponent say that when Woods should have been the one who reached out to Gigi himself and told her you know like the fight went on like he was gonna find a different opponent for 88 like but to her opponent saying it and bragging about it yeah that was wrong and that wasn't professional okay yeah, can y'all hear me no yeah all right, all right. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to do all this. Who is that? I'm not a troll for real, but who is that? Nah, I ain't no troll. My name's Sid G. I'm from from the neighborhood Woods. That the what okay. y'all call him, what y'all call him, is the neighborhood that we grew up in. Really, is that old neighborhood? His name the V. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm from the woods where the uh, fighting event started. Okay. And I'm, I'm here to tell y'all, like. Um, as far as the safety at them events, man, he has it secured at a level that's very respectful. I mean, like, you can't imagine how much he take into consideration when you think about security. When he first started the event, we did it in our neighborhood. In our neighborhood, and I told him, bro, somebody going to get killed. I'm like, bro, this I understand what you're saying. It sounds like it'll be great. But somebody gonna get killed. Just me thinking about how we grew up and you know, just our neighborhood or whatever. And he had what three or four, three three events in the neighborhood 
in the middle of the neighborhood. Nothing happened at all. So all this talk about uh, it might be some people trying to sabotage it, just saying bad stuff going to happen, but nothing bad has happened at none of these events. And I just got on her. I don't do all this, you know, internet type stuff, really. I don't know how to do it. But the dude y'all talking about is a square business dude. And I wouldn't get on her and vouch for him. I know y'all don't know me from a can of paint, but I wouldn't get on her and vouch for him if he wouldn't. Just go ask some of the people that may know him. Shit, just ask some of the people doing? that's his friends on online or some shit. But hold Niggas up, square business. But hold up, say um, say this, that's what we did. Well, I, I I decided I found somebody that that know him in real life. So what we decided to do was ask. So they said that when he went out of town, he got jumped. That, that that's I, I don't know what's going on with this story and I don't want to mess nothing up if it's got to do with promotion but that that did not happen man listen I'm telling this you is a if this he would, is just, so this is if just he a would have got jumped he would have called me when he first got back okay, or so while if I get he was the out video you going to challenge me to get the video but that was boxing yeah, though I, man I, that I, wasn't I, real that, that was boxing that was, was outside, little, though. But it was, oh, no. she just, it was boxing. That's something he was doing with the people. It was boxing, though. They were boxing. That's something they was doing. It wasn't no real. We 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 mad at Woods when we see him. She had just said a while ago. He, that's why he a part of us. That's why he a part of what we doing. He got jumped though. Woods, that's, right. that's a part Look, of what they, they was doing. In a boxing event. Ain't no disrespect to Woods. Understand? This ain't no disrespect to Woods, right? Because right. Woods only hit this link right here. So it's not about that. I, I was really joking about the whole. But what I'm saying is, how can you tell me that I'm going to be secure at the event by myself pulling up, but you pulled up in Cali and you got jumped? And this ain't no disrespect because you a boxer, right? Yeah, and this a person. Here, hold up, hold up. But I got some. Hold up. But there's somebody here that still fuck with you. Zeb drew the people's. Listen, still fuck with you after they jumped you, right? So it's not no disrespect to his event. I think this is like more personality to the event. You feel me? I'm not gonna bring out the video out with all due with no, with, with no disrespect, right? So this is more a character to you, to you, because you can't say like it's a bunch of street motherfuckers and nothing happens. Like that shit gets to be a little bit weird. I, I don't got no problem with uh Woods or nothing. I understand. She she basically told us exactly why he decided to uh cancel the fights. And I still fuck with GG. I do not fuck with motherfucking 88. But she basically told us that what they said was out of bounds. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I get it. Logically, I get it. I understand that he promoting stuff like that. But if you if you if you, if you promote something and you like Oh, nothing happens. Like that's like if I decide to invest my money, there's zero risk. You gotta be keep it a hundred. Like at this point, you still got two months to promote this shit, right? So like give give us some of your experiences. Like, yeah, I did go out that bitch. I did, I did get jumped. So this is why when I make my, my events, I'm gonna make sure it's enough security. So some shit like that happened to me when I went out of town and was talking my shit, popping my shit, that won't happen to you. Cause like hit the link woods like I know you let, I know let I, me ask you a question man let me ask you one question though okay yeah. your difference in what you talking about your difference is internet beef to where woods one talking how the people on the internet talking he was talking talking to a world of boxes hold on right quick he wasn't talking to he wasn't saying everything with these people saying on the internet how they gonna do this and they're gonna pull up and they're gonna do this that was a boxing event that he pulled up to where boxers was at and they they had already understood that to where he's still in a fraternity now People on the internet talking the word when they talking, it ain't gonna be no damn fraternity after they get through the way they were talking. So it's a different story. You can't say that when I pull up, is it gonna happen like Woods pull up? If you see the video of what she's saying, it's probably gonna be a, a video of initiation of we had to get him in here and he was talking all that shit. Now I go. He didn't leave back with no broken arm or no busted eye. He didn't leave back yeah. saying when I see them, I'm gonna shoot them up. The internet was totally different now. That's what that's what homie saying 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 right now. It was in the hood, in the middle of the streets, at, at, at the park of the woods. People probably had pills. That was that was back then before he got so professional with it. They were boxing oh, no. it. Oh. 
Hold up, y'all. Because she said this is last year. Hold up. Cat Taylor. With all, due, with, all due, with all due respect, who was? When was this event that he got you? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. He got jumped last year in June at the Team CCB event in California. What kind of jumping is we talking about? Are we talking about? Because that's what I'm I saying. What a guy! You know I'm saying like I ain't saying. That's what I'm saying. I ain't saying no like. I'm just saying like. But you can't compare it though, me. You can't compare it. He went on the internet talking. He went talking what on the internet. To See, uh, wait, that was he talking shit? Come on now, y'all. Yeah, he was talking shit. That's how he got jumped. And then he yeah. said, I'm pulling up on y'all turf by myself. He did a pull up. <laughs> he did a pull up by himself. I, I, I know he went to California, but this ain't making sense. I don't I don't I don't know if I'm messing something up, but listen. Now nah, say it ain't messing up, bro. When, when he, when, if you pull up when by he yourself, back up to the house or nigga. even before he leave, he gonna hit me on the line and tell me that this happened. Win, lose, or drop. And I ain't Where never heard this it? story. Hey, look, hey, yeah, hey, it hey. happened at Team CCB when he came to the event. They didn't, they didn't like stomp him out and all that. That's good. We want to do that. Or something? Man, he was laughing. He was laughing. Probably when he left, bro. Say, look, Woods, if you got jumped at the event, come out, stand up. That's all we saying. It's not no, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all not gonna do it. He, if if he got jumped yeah. at the event, he would gladly tell each and every one of y'all. Did he say this? Tell us then. Tell us then. Why we gotta go find people at the damn corner store and tell us that you got jumped at the goddamn event? Bring your ass out, goddamn. Okay, me. Well, I swear you, to God, okay, he would me, tell y'all if he got jumped what? at that event. Hold on, yeah. me, me. So what I'm saying is, why are you making it as if he went and got beat the fuck up when he wasn't? They boxers, they talking boxers, talking the shit probably on IG. They probably he probably was laughing after that. That wasn't no serious ass shit though. The internet have made it so serious though. No, 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 no. The internet is serious though. They serious. Like it's it's a difference. It's a difference on getting jumped. Goddamn, I hear somebody go talking shit. This is what I hear. You on the internet talking shit. You say I'm gonna pull up by myself. You pull up in another city, you catch a plane out of town, you get jumped. Okay, it's still I'm saying it's still it don't make sense. It's when you talk to Jab Judah, me, when you talk to Jab Judah, he we still fuck with him right to this day. So if it was serious, Miss Taylor, Miss Taylor wouldn't fuck with him. If it were that serious, Miss Taylor would have got up her. Hold on, if it were that serious, Miss Taylor would have got up her and said. Man, fuck that. Man, nah, I'm not trying to hear that. That nigga, this she didn't say that though. See that what I'm saying? Let's let's do a playback on a lot of internet shit and let's see what how far they Here's took it. Because I think y'all think I'm trying to make this like some like this is like okay. We didn't fail. No, 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 I would, no, no. would want to hit the panel. Let him out. Listen, Let I'm it. just Let I'm just saying this is a lie. I swear to God. It. And you I know y'all don't know me from nobody, but I swear to God, this is a lie. He you. did not get jumped because he going to tell no, me. And he, he would at? gladly tell y'all. Where's he at? I've been hitting the panel since you 2 o'clock. I can call his ass. But he going to pull up, man. He going to pull up. All right. All right. All right he, he, it's not no safe place. It's not like an unsafe place. He can hit the goddamn link. You already know. Who, got, who say they got the video? I I, I bet a thousand dollars on the video. No, I bet a smooth thousand dollars on this bet video. You thousand dollars before he hit the link. You sure about that? I swear to God, I I bet it before he hit the link. See, Shit, but it wasn't that serious though, bro. No, no. It, listen, when he got jumped, though, bro. What I'm saying is, it wasn't that serious. How she's saying, like, if they pull up, niggas talking shit on the internet. Not this man right here. You can't mix Where that in like jump? that, though, me. You can't mix this that in like that. He went on no drama. This not this he went man on right no here. Drama. He didn't mention you a, f a few times before. I, I I don't know much about this stuff, but he didn't mention you. Not, you know that he got jumped. He told you this. What? I said, I've been calling for him to ask him if it's true or not. This not him right here. No, I was asking Pooh Black. I done heard his name a few times. Hey, look, look, say, check this out, bro. What I'm saying is, her jump, right her jump is not like 
what Taylor's saying, fam. She's from DC. Jump- she from DC. I'm from Baltimore. Where is I've been I've been on the internet looking for who uh for goddamn the whole lot of woods since two o'clock this afternoon. He ain't said a goddamn thing. Well, when he what? got jumped, he was laughing. It wasn't no, it wasn't no beef shit to where I hit no, the tone. No, no, no. Y'all over here playing with me, bro. I yeah, see. it wasn't no hey, internal what shit. Is, if he did get jumped, bro, it wasn't no internal he, shit to where he mad, my nigga. It wasn't wait, like that. Wait, I guarantee wait, that. Wait, Bro, ain't even, no, uh, I don't see he, it being. he gotta go. He gotta own up to his if he got jumped or not. Y'all don't know if this man with the California got jumped or not. How good it was, how bad it was. Bro, I, I put this uh, on my life. I, I, I wouldn't know. Wait, y'all gonna put it, put it on I, my BBL. I, I need me a second round. Who put it on my BBL? Hey, hey, let me call you right now. Y'all fucking with me. I, I know that. Me, baby. I ain't no fool. Oh, tell me. I need a second. I need a round two of BBL since that nigga want to be talking all kind of shit anyway. So yeah, put it on my round two <laughs> BBL that we don't have him on camera getting jumped in California after he was talking shit at that goddamn Zeb Judah event. Goddamn man, let me. Y'all see. not going to the me. Go ahead and not let's be put it on. I put it on the BBL. Send it to. Right, put I, it on I, my I, second round, nigga. What's going on? on Hold out of wood. Where Come you at? On, let me see. We, it, it'll be some slide. Oh, some some had to have it. No, y'all I got over here playing with me. Y'all over here playing with me. Send oh, me the video. I got two grown men telling me this man, and I'm over here back here thinking like Woods. Now, goddamn Woods, you done hit every goddamn link. I know the baby is good. Goddamn, it's Friday. The kids are asleep. Get your ass up. You ain't babysitting. You ain't doing shit. I'd have asked you to hit the link since two o'clock, nigga. Where the fuck you at, Woods? Hello? Yeah. 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 Y'all yeah, not going to play. Y'all going to ain't hit the goddamn link at all. So y'all want me to believe y'all at, at Pooh Black. You know, look, where's some nigga Pooh Black at? Like this. Bro, this, this nigga, this, this that nigga ain't play. the type of nigga you just jump and it just Listen be all here. right. It Listen ain't here. that ain't that. It don't make sense. Yeah. I know y'all from Texas and all that, but I'm from Baltimore. It's body more murder land. If you talking on that goddamn shit, you better yeah. listen. Who black? Where my nigga Pooh Black? I trust me. I black. believe. I believe. I believe, but it get real. Yeah. It get real over here too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie yeah. to you. Hello, did y'all What's playing with me, where, man? Where is he at? <laughs> where is he at? Come on I don't now. Know where Pooh Black Woods, is, come bro. outside. It's gonna come outside. Where he at? Come take it. Let me get out of this. Bum me like oh, y'all thought because y'all thought y'all was gonna bum bum me. No, 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 no. Y'all not gonna no. me. Where's Woods at? We over here, got no smoke. Okay, where nigga at? I where he at? Nigga. Where I don't know how to do this. Y'all thought I was about to get me like that. No, no, no. Okay. Hell no. Man, Where's put the Tito's down? Oh, no, me. no, ain't got nothing to do with Tito's, ma'am. Where is where's Woods? Make yeah, I'm not trolling. I'm dead ass serious. If you ain't where he at, because I know he trolled me good. So, hello, let's get that come outside. Come on, man. Come on. No, y'all not understand. Do that to me. Me crazy. Where's he at? It's ten o'clock at night. Goddamn, the baby sleeping. Them beautiful kids. Oh, you know, Woods is a good goddamn dad. So I know, goddamn, on a Friday night, he is over here. Got them ready to go ahead and troll us. Let's go, Woods. Where you at? I need the footage, man. I'm trying hey, to tell y'all this hey, story. Hey, dude. Hey, Paul. <laughs> hey, Paul. You um, you know about him coming to California last year. You knew about him with the whole beef and with the all call outs and mandatory Zab Judah. You're lying about you don't know that he got jumped at that event. You're not telling the truth. You know he got jumped, but he ain't get jumped to the point where we was going. I was going to walk him. I was going to go dog walk him. He pulled up by I'm telling you. <laughs> you know he got jumped. You know yeah, he got jumped at that event. Why y'all fucking with me, man? Yo, I, I came on here to rap with my nigga. I, I'm so I realize y'all fucking with me. No, he, he, pulled up, he pulled up by himself, and he was no, fly. I know he, he was all fly. And if he would have got jumped, 
I would have heard about it probably he 40 years ago. He, he didn't get he didn't get dog no walk. He didn't get dog walk to be the, he didn't right. get jumped to the point where we was gonna hate him for life. He got he got roughed up though. He got Not roughed that, up. He ain't, he ain't no roughing up type of nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This internet thing is one thing, but him he, in no, real life. No, he talking about bro. hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you disrespecting me, bro. And I like you. I like you. You see this you right here. Hold on, let me see you right here. Let me see you and your Burberry and your. You was at the baby shower right here. Yeah, you know. I, I knew you was. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, go get Woods right now, cause y'all not gonna sit I've been on. I've been over here calling them. He he don't want to come in. I I, I called him. I was I, I was sending him messages. He, 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 he don't want to come in. That's what it is. He fucking no him. Woods. No, I don't know. No, no, no. He know I'm not being disrespectful. All the other people he know for one good thing. Look at him and his bro. Who who was having it? Was it a boy or a girl? Boy. Um, <laughs> He got his little glasses on, y'all. Look at him. I said, I even sent him the link. I sent him the link to come over here. He, ain't even watching. he over here. Look, Woods, who's this? Anyway, but hold up. Let me give him a little promo. So, June 3rd, you feel me? You think I didn't have it? Yes, I did. You know, I'm not no, being rude. Woods, come on outside. <laughs> yeah, tell that nigga to come out, man. That nigga yeah, yeah, hold on. He didn't come out, y'all. I sent him a message. Way before this shit started. He even, called me, before, he even called me before I did the interview. He was calling me while I was getting oh. ready to do the interview. He, he didn't want to come hey, in. Look, I was joking. I was joking. Come on back. Woods. But, no, I wasn't joking about the Woods. Woods, this was for you, babe. Hey, GG. Yeah, you. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Was this a. Was this too soon, bro? Who? All right. So who said he got jumped? First off, I'm still confused. I did. I'm Cat Taylor. I'm the world's number one boxing fan, and he I'm a part of Zab. I'm a part of Zab Judah squad. We all call out. I fuck with Zab. I fuck with Zab. So what? Hold up. Do you not believe? You think, what you think over here? Hold up. Hold up. Because I'm over here like, wait, is it the jump part or is the fight? Like, hold on. But I want y'all want y'all want to laugh at something real quick. That Tito's nah. kicking in. No, the, the part that's kicking yeah, in is I'm like y'all came up here jumping me. Hey, Pooh Black, get your ass up here because that's my. Uh, uh hold up, hold up, Pooh Black. I told y'all it was me. Come on now. I, wait, I don't want nobody to be offended. Hold up, y'all. Can we? Y'all want to take a little breather? Look at this, y'all. Look at her right, right here. I'm gonna take a breather. I'm finna call now, Woods and try to get him on no, the phone. You gonna I mean, call y'all back and I get him. Yeah, call Woods and tell him come All on. Right. All right, hold on. He's like, wait a minute. Come on, man. Woods not coming while Mink turned up like this, especially. No, I'm being for real. I like Woods. Wait, Mink going to fall asleep on a laptop tonight? Oh, my God. Do you understand? Like, hold up. I'm only hold up. It's starting to come to me. Like, I thought tonight was going to be a fun night. You know, a great debate. You know, but, like, a great debate. But, like, bro. She over there calling Wood. Call he no, he he's calling me. I, I already I called him. Call call oh, that was him right there. I heard him. Uh, uh, room shaker, get off of me. That was him. What's up, man? Why, why are you trolling Woods, girl? What's going we on? Was, come on now, Woods. Come outside. I can't believe this. I was over here. Is this serious? Oh my God! Did I mess up? Hold on, Woods. I didn't mean it like that. I was trying to. Damn it! Am I out? Am I? Y'all put me out. I thought this was informative. Y'all didn't. Are y'all putting me out? What they mean? Where's Skull Gang? All right, y'all. I'm sorry. Do y'all need me to do? I thought this. Uh. Rest in peace, hood on lock, true. Rest in peace. Hold up, y'all. I mean, I didn't mean... Are y'all mad? Hold on. Well, why were y'all mad? I need y'all to see something. Y'all want to see something funny? Hold up. Where's that video at? Hold on. Where's that video? Girl, they just going to be mad. Because I, I didn't think they was going to be mad. I thought this is good. 
Were they mad about you for uh telling the truth about what happened at the event? I, I don't know. I thought y'all was gonna be happy that we had some. Were y'all mad at me? Are y'all? Bam, bam. Should we have came? Oh my God! Is that what it is? I didn't know. Wait. So it was. So I, I didn't play the video. Mig, you know I don't like how you come at the gang, but if this is a good show. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are y'all mad at me? Really? Wait, Nick always getting denounced. I'm always getting denounced. I thought this is a good show. Wait, Woods, come back. I'm sorry. Woods was in here. He came in. He's always here. I don't understand why. I thought this was good. Why he ain't came up? He should come up. Because he's upset. Is Woods upset? He ain't upset. Well, tell him not to be mad. Uh, Mo three said, "Oh my God, Minka is running amok. Room shaker. Hold on, am I denounced again? Hey, listen, I can't take another denouncement." Oh my God. Hold on. Where's that one where you was like, hold on. This is a funny one. Y'all want to see something funny while I'm being denounced again? I, I, I I'm going really... uh, to pull up the video of him, of them chasing him at the CCB event. I, they, I got to get them to send it to me. <laughs> it was a whole little okay. acting scene out there. Oh my God. Hold up. But I was looking for something. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh my God. I wasn't looking for something like that. But Woods, come back. Don't be mad at me, Woods. I'm sorry. I got jumped more times than I could count, so I don't give a fuck. Oh, um, well, he about to go live anyway. He over there. Don't you don't want to give me no Woods don't want to give me no credit. Oh, that was him that said that? No, he over there trying to go live when I go live. Woods. Don't hear his link, girl. Cause he over here making us sit up here. Uh-uh, Woods. That's how he do, though. He 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 a promoter. He markets. He a promoter. He can he kiss my ass, Woods. Over there promoting. That's I'm over here thinking you said. Well, he not said, y'all. At least he going live, child. No, he not said. He gonna he gonna recoup from this because he he got to bounce back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but his name wasn't defamed because I'm not gonna I'm you not gonna not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We wasn't out here like you bitch ass nigga, you ho ass. Ho -ass. Nah. Yeah, so come on. Come back, Woods. Come back from this, Woods. He probably thought it was going to be, though. <laughs> you sit in the bushes ass nigga. Why you in the bushes like that? We over here letting you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Woods, I did a, you owe me some money, the fuck? I didn't even have to shake my ass. <laughs> don't live on me. Don't hit his link since he wouldn't want to give us no. Don't hit, even hit his link. He oh, he put it in the chat. What he say? Hit the link. What he say? Told you Woods felt like you was doing too much. I don't care. You better hit the link. He be doing too much. It's Skull Gang over everything and the Pussy Gang and the. Go gang and a pussy bang and a black black user. Wait, Tito's mink is the best. <laughs> she turns into Minka. Minka here. Hold up, y'all. I want y'all to see something else. Hold up. Wait, hold up. Where is my video at with the history? Look at this, y'all. This is bad. Look at her. If y'all think, let me expose um, my guest. Let's expose the guest. Hold on. Let's expose her. Don't think you got off scot free, honey. Mm -hmm. Who me? <laughs> yeah. Let's look at her, y'all. Look at this. Where is it? At? How do I go to my history? Look at her, y'all. Look at what she do to people that owe her money. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, look, let me expose her, y'all, while we at it. Come on. <laughs> look, where is it? At? Hold up, y'all. If y'all see this, y'all gonna see what kind of time she on. So she probably did jump uh, a whole lot of woods. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Look at this. Look at this. 
Look at this, y'all. She's trying to act like a classy lady. Look at this lady right here. Girl, if you are somebody, look at this. Uh huh. <laughs> look at this. Y'all, look at this. Look at her. Hold on. Where's it at? Damn it. Fuck. Hold on. Wait a minute. Type in cat tail and pay me back. Look at her, y'all. Look. Go on mute. Look at this. Look at her. Let, show her your real self. This is what the microphone in my car sounds like, baby. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. 
I've tried to hold my face and I can't. I can't hold my face together tonight. <laughs> it's Friday night. I can't hold my face. Oh my God, what happened here? Somebody owed you some money? Yeah, get, um, yeah, a guy, yeah, borrowed some money from me when I was working a job. <laughs> and, I, and I went outside, I went outside his job and I protested. <laughs> <laughs> he was a co-worker of mine. <laughs> they said, they said, they wanted you to when they say something else on the microphone. <laughs> 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 and so I probably quit. They said I and so I probably quit after that. Baby back. <laughs> that was such a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always been I always been extra, oh, like extra, hey. extra. Look, you think everybody jump in the clouds talking about hell you me. Girl, I need to protest I can't close my mouth. I don't know how because I said <laughs> Yo, oh my God. Oh my I guess God. I guess everybody about to take and make that a TikTok. That joke oh. might go viral for real. Cause my, oh. I know when I did it, my family was like, oh. to this day, I told you they still be crying, laughing over it. Oh my God! <laughs> she said, "Bim, come on and do it." Oh, there is. I know y'all. It's a lot of people that y'all just want to do that too right now. She said, "Bim, wait, but I let me hear one more time, one more time, one more time." She said, oh, sounds like baby. <laughs> your show tonight it was it was pretty amazing this was girl, cool gg live now girl so she might it's gonna be even more ghetto over there if you want to go gg probably is gonna cuss everybody out for everything you said girl gg live 
Bip Live, if you want to go to the trenches, you know. Uh, Woods is live right now. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but don't hit Woods link because he ain't hit our link and tell us how he really felt. So oh, yeah. Don't hit Woods link because that's the no. Don't even hit it. Um, it's Friday night. We gonna go to Gigi because we waited for Gigi. Bim, we gonna come over there because you gonna be in trenches. As D gonna be over there. King, 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 pay me back. Pay me back. <laughs> Pay me back, King. And Swan. Pay me back. Yo, let's <laughs> support Gigi, y'all. For real, let's go support Gigi. Bim, I love you. You know we're going to be on it, too. Turn up, Tito's Mink. Let's go. Hold up, y'all. Let me drop Gigi's link because we stay have alive. A, have a Hold great up. night, Rudy. It was nice meeting you all. Y'all yeah, hit me up anytime. Okay. Yeah, look. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up. First of all, first of all. First of all, uh, Kat, uh huh, Kat don't know she's. Listen, you're stuck with us, bitch. <laughs> After the pay, come on, King, pay me back, pay me back. <laughs> Look, it worked. He went in the cage. Hold on. Uh, no, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm not live. What the fuck? Oh, Bip, you're not live. All right, well, let's go to Gigi, y'all. Hold up. Let me. Gigi live. She over there turned up. She's pissed. Hold up, y'all. Y'all know send me the um, send me the link, and I'll I'll come over there for a high second. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a in a chat so we can chat. I just started drinking Tito, so hey, it's Friday night. Spring break just got started. Fuck them kids. It's like no, that's what people say. It's like King. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, shout out to Phoebe. Um. Gigi, Kat, I think uh, the, the DC. Uh, too seriously, you may need to hit him. Girl, if he took it personal, then we was trying to help him out. If he took it personal... Man, then, he'll be all right. You know, a lot of times you got to tell the truth, though. You know, he, he probably had people walking into territories after getting into, like, a street beef. It's boxing. I think this was much better than me twerking my ass and say he's a bitch ass ho ass nigga because I don't feel that way. I think it was it's a professional event. Shout out to shout out to Mob Squad. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm about to end this. We going to Gigi's Bimp. Uh drop your link in Gigi so we can go there next. And we could just if 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 if, if Woods is mad, he don't got no reason to be mad. Cause I I think we show much respect to Woods. For real, because I was playing and he be playing, so you can't be like playing too much and then be mad. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna make it. I think he probably he might want you to go over there, but uh, no, I don't think that's cool. I don't know where he is. On, um, you know, I don't. That's GG we... live, y'all. We about to wait a minute. Hold up. I'm gonna hit you up. Wait a minute. Hold up. I'm about to end this, and we can um hold up. You can stay. You can it was, stay. A, it was a pleasure, OC girl. Yeah.